Good afternoon, Good afternoon online, online feasters. feasters. Hello, feaster, mga online feasters. I'm your one and only Bessie here at Feast Friend. At kasama ko naman ngayon si... I'm Brother James. Ayan, Bro James. So, bago ang lahat, ano yes. bang kailangan natin gawin? Ayan, sige. F- few announcements lang no, before we start our feast. Uh, of course, nang unang-una for those na first time attendees ng feast natin. Uh, wag, wag na wag kayong uuwi agad kasi we have a small token for you and we want to engage with you and connect with you through our first time yes. ministry. So, if first time mo umaten or may kakilala kang first time, stay muna and then uh, we'll pray for you as well. And of course, huwag na, huwag na huwag natin kakalimutan na itayip ang I'm a first timer at kung saan ka nanonood. Nationwide man yan o worldwide. Yes, so, for ayan. example, no, I'm a first timer from Sampaloc or yes, from tama ka dyan, Again, the Oro. Or from yeah. Australia. Speaking of Australia, hi Ate Tin. Ayan, Hello. ito na question of the week natin. Anong katangian ni Jesus ang gusto mong gaya? So ayan, mga online feasters natin, in-type lang natin ang mga, ta- ang mga kasagutan para sa question of the week natin ito. At ayan ay mababasa. So ikaw naman bro James, ano katangian ni Jesus Christ bang ba gusto mo ayan. So, gayahin? Sobrang dami. No? Kasi for example, yung service niya, yung yes. leadership niya. Pero siguro um, right now, pinakagusto kong imitate uh, kay Jesus no is of course yung how he love no and paano siya magpatawad kasi of course minsan parang uh, i'm not sure kung na feel mo rin siya parang minsan na feel ko tama naman ako mm-hmm. pero mas sabi nga ng mga builders natin no piliin na magmahal at magpatawad kaysa ka patunayan dyan. na tama ka yes yeah. so ako naman ang katangian na gusto kong ma-adapt or makuha ay yung pagiging humble niya humble oo kasi of course tayo bilang isang tao lamang no tayo nagkakamali and there there are certainties in our life na na tumatakbo ang pagiging pride yes. natin mm. ego natin but at the same time we really have to lower our ego and pride no being humble kumbaga nga so ayun humility so, ka- yes ayun yes. tama ka dyan so ayun mga first timers Answer na kayo dyan, yeah. ha? Share your answers sa comment sections natin. Yan, yeah, at dahil dyan, ito na ang ating schedule of the week. Sunday live, isa man tayo, 10 a.m. at 1.30 p.m. with FSL for the Deaf. At Tuesday naman, bro James. Ayan, summons to your surrender place every 8.30 p.m. So again, no, every Tuesday yan. Yes. At sa Wednesday naman, ang gabay, gabay sa Biblia sa Radio Veritas, 8.46 with Coach JC Libina at M3SY naman. Kasama ang tatun natin ng gagapuhang Coach J, uh, Coach Christian, bro Bro Nelson yes. at Bro Alvin Barcelona. Ayan. And of course, no, every Thursday, Father Michael Aguardia's Biblia Kuniya no, with uh, Father Bob, Father Albert, and Father, Father Pao. Pao Esper. And then sa Friday naman, MTSY naman tayo with Bro Alvin lang. And our Feast Manila at 6.30pm kasama dyan si Doc Ryan and Bro Philip Sumera. And lastly, Ayan. Every Saturday, no, Saturday Squad no, with Coach JC and Coach JC with Sis Jam, Bro Clark, and Bro Ryan. Bro okay, Ryan. Okay, ayan, ayan. Tama tayo dyan. So everyday may ganap, no? May everyday may ganap. Ayan. Hindi po tayo naubusan ng ganap. At ito naman po ang ganap natin since April na. Ayan. So right now, no, April 21 na. Yes. So, but uh, next week, no, April 28, dito pa rin tayo sa PICC, 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. session. Two sessions tayo next week. As, ah, as usual. As usual. Ayan, the Sacrament of Confession is available today, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So, ayan po ay available po yan sa mga oras na ito, no? So, kung meron po mga padating na dito, oh, no? Mm. Ayan po available. Ayan, next is, ayan, so yung awesome kids ministry natin, no? We are back, no? So, starting yes, we last week, back. April last 14, week, no? Oh, meron na ulit na, na uh, things natin. Yes, awesome kids classes. Uh, resume na po yan. So, if you have kids, no, pwede nyo silang dalhin. Yes. At kung may mga um, first-timers dito na nagtataka ano bang awesome kids, ito yes. po ay para sa ating mga chikitings na eh, yes. medyo maligalig sa ating pag-misa uh, at pag-worship. No? Doon po sila eh, designate at meron naman po tayo mga activities doon na ay inclined din sa ating mga pag-uusap ngayong um, Sunday na ito. At ito na, parang di pa kami mahuli sa aming mga anunsyo. No, sa kada social medias namin no, join us on our Facebook and Instagram no, via QR code Again, scan nyo lang yan at 
updated na kayo sa aming mga social media accounts. Para ma-update din sila sa mga everyday ganaps everyday natin. Everyday ganaps, no? Yeah. Ito na. And daily, no? We have um, Divine Mercy Chaplet every 3 p.m. Uh, via Facebook Live. Again, Monday to Friday yan. Yes. Kaya kailangan talagang eh, scan nyo ang aming mga social media. Yes. Para maging updated kayo. Tama ka dyan, bro. Now, daily resuscitation of the Holy Rosary naman tayo. No? Ayan po ay available Monday to Friday except Wednesday kasi po Monday to Friday 9.15 p.m. ang oras. At sa Wednesday naman ay 9 o'clock p.m. And on Saturday and Sunday 8.30 p.m. via Zoom. So yan po meeting ID and passcode down below. Ayan. So of course, no, um, our Feast Bay Area Bible Study. So sobrang ganda nito kasi every Wednesday, um, pwede kang kung parang minsan kasi yung Bible reading. Yes. Um, minsan mali yung pagkakinti din natin mm. or iba yung perspective ng iba. Tama. So maganda may kasama ka may kasama na ka, so aralin, to journey yes. with. No? And ito every Wednesday, so yung QR code and yung registration link no, nasa, nasa screen natin. So Tama feel free to take a screenshot. And yun nga, um, follow our Facebook page para at least uh, maging updated tayo. Yes, Pro James. And ito na, join in service with us in the kitchen via QR code. Register here, no? So ayan, um, scan nyo lang yan. At lahat po ng ministries ng meron sa the Feast PM session ay may kita nyo po dyan, no? So kung production like me, no? Madami po doong mga um, sub... Entry. So, meron tayong set, um, teleprompter manager, visual manager, production assistant, and yes. um, ano pa ba isa? Production. Ayan. No? Meron din tayong live engager, Nehemiah. So, lahat po. Media. Ay, media, ayan. Sa so, first time ministry. Yes. No? Nandiyan na po lahat. So, scan nyo lang yan kung gusto nyo po kami saluhan dito sa kusina yes. namin. Next is uh, be a feast light planter. So for example, no guys, gusto niyo ring mag uh, paano ba tong feast, uh, feast light planter na to? Okay, so basically bro, tama ba, ba no if um, gusto mo lang mag-gather ng mga friends mo yes. or relatives no for example sa office, sa bahay yes. or for example even sa barangay mm-hmm. no. Pwede niyo silang tipunin and then um, sabay-sabay kayo manood ng mga feast videos natin and at the same time sabay-sabay mag-reflect, sabay-sabay mag-pray. Tama, and if you want to be a feast light planter again Uh, you may scan the QR code. And, mm. yan. No? Yeah. Parang may mag aasis sa atin. Tama. And ayan, speaking of, mm. feed your faith, read the Bible, daily devotions, weekly feast talk series, and many more. No? So, ayan. Again oh. and again, QR code lang po tayo or download via Google Play Store or App Store. So, ito po ay ating feast app no? sa ating mga first timers. Yes. O, kung meron man na kayo, no? mabuti po na i-download nyo na to kasi it, it is really a great help for us to kasi kung gusto nyo po mag-recap ng ating mga um, past talks mm. so na dyan po yun makinig sa ating mga worship team songs at mga bagong release silang kanta ay nandiyan at nandiyan na no? and even yung mga updates natin regarding our social media agendas yung mga daily resuscitation by the study ay nandiyan na rin po lahat-lahat ayan pinaka gusto ko dito sa face up natin yung daily devotions no? Ooh, yung ditake yes, sabat so, Oh, and at companion. At din natin yan via books nila. No? Yes. Ito na, speaking Sakto, of. Ayan. So, y- ito yung mga ano natin. Parang daily readings, no? So, we have the Didake, Sabat, Companion, and Gabay. So, these are all available dito sa Feast, no? And of course, guys, no? Maaga pa. Maaga pa yung taon. Maaga pa nga so, naman talaga taon. So, maganda rin masabayan natin. Especially, no? Wala pa tayo sa second half of the year. Yes, uh, mga kajan. At available din yung Shopee at Lazada. At speaking of sa dalawang yun, ay magsusail na sila. So, ayan, no? Pwede natin sila. At hindi lang yun, no? Even National Bookstore meron na rin. Yes. Yan. Ayan, prayer avail- prayers available messages during the session. We'd love to hear from you. No, sa katulad nga na pag-type nyo ng I'm a first timer at kung saan kayo nanonood, ganun din po ang inyong mga personal prayers na kung gusto nyo pong mas um, deep ang pag-uusap, you can message our uh, messenger account, no? The Feast Bay um, PM session, no? pwede nyo po sila i-PM or kahit um, ilatag nyo lang po yan sa aming live, ay eh, mababasa po yan ng ating mga ministries. Yes, meron tayong special ministry na nagpe-pray yes. para sa mga prayer intent. Natin. And ito na, fourth Sunday of Easter. Ayan, so John uh, chapter 10, 10 mm-hmm. verse 15 to 16. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock, 
one shepherd. Yes, amen. Yeah. So ito yung pag-uusapan natin. Ito ang pag-uusapan ngayong linggo, no? At since pag-uusapan natin, titignan naman natin ang mga komento sa ating Facebook Live. Okay, wala pa as of now. So ayan, kung may mga nanonood na po ngayon, no, ay uulitin po namin, no, ang question of the week, no, anong katangian ni Jesus ang gusto mong gayahin, no? So ayan, Bro James, uh, ahoy muna maghahanap na ating matatanungan no sa momentong ito no, yes, so iwanan mo na kita diyan so guys no feel free to uh, jot in your quest yung your comments no para at least mabasa din namin yung mga answers ninyo and feel free to share kasi uh, mag- balikan ko lang yung awesome kids ministry natin so sobrang ganda noon guys kasi uh, gaya ng sabi ni brother no is um binabago or parang ina-adopt yung uh, mga sharing doon, yung classes doon na mas madaling maintindihan ng mga kids natin. So, um, right now, resume na ulit yan. So, if you have kids, feel free to bring uh, some kids ministry natin. Ayan, sige. So, balikan natin yung mga ibang announcements natin. So, again, if you want to get updated sa mga social media apps natin, uh, feel free to scan the QR code. Now, we have uh, our Facebook link and our Instagram link. Ayan. So, yung gusto iterate lang yung join join us to serve so asan na ba yan kasi actually ano if you want to serve with us kasi uh, let me share lang no para nang um, more than nine years akong attendee lang sa feast no pero nung start na nag-serve ako sobrang nabago sobrang nabago yung faith ko rin doon kay kay Lord of course no nung nag-start na ako mag-serve so we have lots of uh, ministries dito like awesome kids ministry production ministry media ministry um, first time ministry so on so forth so um sigurado sigurado yan na meron kayong skills and talents na pwedeng may offer kay Lord and andito na pa ang ating guest guest speaker yes, and guest dito share, na. sharer <laughs> yan tara tara sis so ito ang ito question na. of the week no Ano ang katangian ni Jesus ang gusto mong gayahin? Pero pakilala ka muna. Oo, sis, ano po ang pangalan natin? Ako po si Christine Makaraig. <laughs> Ayan, from? From Bulacan. Sis, ano bang mukhang party ka ata dito ng ministry ng FIS? Ano po bang ministry ka? Ako po ay taga-production. Ayan. So ayan, sis Christine, ano bang katangian ni Jesus ang gusto mong gayahin? Ang katangian ni Jesus na gusto kong gayahin, yung siyempre yung pagiging mapagmahal. Kasi sabi nga nila, pag, mahal, pag marami kang pagmamahal, kahit yung pagpapatawa din, kaya mong ibigay. Tama, ang ganda Amen nun. Amen to that. Amen. Thank you, thank you so much, Justine. Thank you, madam. Ayan. At meron din pa tayong isa, no? Oo, isa dito, Ayan. no? Na isang, ano? So, bro, ano po ang pangalan natin? Uh, Nico. Ayan. Bro, Nico, ikaw din ba part ng production? Yes, correct. Ayan. So, bro, Nico, katulad lang ng kadit ni Sistino, anong katangin ni Jesus ang gusto mo gayahin? Um, siguro yung ano niya, forgiving uh, nature. Since uh, yun, naman, yun naman yung pinagmula ng grace natin, mga tao. Kaya tayo na ligtas from sin is because um, He saved us and uh, uh, He forgave us. Ganun. Thank you, thank you so much, Amen. bro, Nico. Ang ganda nun. Ayan, grabe nga naman na ating mga feast, online feaster, no? So, ayan, ay, kung sila ay nakapag-commento na sarili nilang no, pahayag, eh, kayo din, no? We'd love, we'd love to hear from you, no? So, bro, Josh, wala pa rin bang comment? Wala pa rin, So, no? mostly, no? Love, love forgiveness, forgiveness, and humility. Humility. Ang tatlong gustong makuha sa katangian ni Jesus Christ. So, then, again and again, sa ating mga bagong pasok, eto po ang ating mga Uh, um, schedules no, sa linggong ito. No? So, Sunday Life is 10 a.m. 1 p.m. with FSL with Def. Um, next is uh, ano ba Tuesday. Tuesday. Ayan. So, Tuesday, summons to your surrender place every 8.30 p.m. Ayan. Wednesday naman, gabay sa Biblia sa Radio Veritas 8.46 no, 8.30 a.m. with Coach J.C. Libiran at MTSY naman with Bro Nelson and Coach Christian. At kasama naman nila ay si Bro Alvin Barcelona at 7.30 p.m. Yes. And again, no every Thursday night, uh, Father Michael Laguardia's Biblia Kunia with Father Albert 
Father Pao and Father Bob. No, sobrang ganda nito, no, Freni, kasi ang dami mo rin tagal learnings na matutunan, Tama, reflections. Dyan. Grabe naman din talaga mga paring makakasama natin okay. dyan, no. Ganun din pag Friday, no, ganun din, no, M3SY, Bro Alvin yan. Fizz Manila naman, 6.30pm, Doc Ryan and Bro Philip. Sa Saturday naman, Saturday squad with Coach JC Liberan and Sis Jam, Sis Jam, bro Clark and Bro <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> yan. yan, no. So, eto po ang magiging schedule natin sa magiging huling week ng April, April 28. PIC si parin tayo with two sessions, 10 yes. a.m. at 1:30 p.m. at Plenary Hall parin. And then again, no sacrament of confession. Since andito na rin naman kayo, we have priests no na that could cater yung mga uh, if gusto niyo mag-confess, no, meron tayo dito. So, uh, before and after pwede kayong uh, mag-visit dun sa mga sa second floor to, no? Yes, second floor yan. Ayan, awesome kids. Balik-balik tayo, no? Balik na po tayo last week up until now, dire-diretso na po tayo para sa ating mga chiquitings. And not to miss out anything on our agenda sa mga social media accounts, join us on our Facebook and Instagram by via scanning our QR, QR code. code. And then again, no, uh, Divine Mercy Chaplet, daily po yan, uh, every weekday, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. via Facebook Live. Yes. And even our daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, Monday to Friday except Wednesday, 9.15 p.m., Wednesday naman, 9 o'clock p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 8.30 p.m. via Zoom with the meeting ID and passcode down below. And, and next is, again, yung Feast uh, Bay Area Bible Study natin. Join us every Wednesday. Uh, please scan the, uh, the QR code and the registration link. No? Nandito lang siya sa screen. Naka-display. Naka yes. And ito na, yan si sa ulit ulit, uulitin at uulitin namin. Join and serve us in the kitchen via uh, scanning the QR code. No? Yan, lahat po ng ministries na gusto nyo masalihan. Ito po ay iilan kung kakayanin. Nung tatlo, lima, go lang ng go. No? Pero kayo po ay, nasa sa inyo naman yan no? kung paano yung uh, matatagpuan yes. ang yung place dito sa aming kusina. Welcome na welcome sila, no? Especially uh, uh, whatever things. talent or skills they have, no? Pwede yes. nilang oh. magamit, no? In serving God. Wala naman Lord. ditong requirements. Basta, yes, eh, handa ka mag-yes kay Lord. Yes, yan. Yun lang, no? Willingness and commitment. Willingness. Tama ka dyan. Ito na rin. And again, no? Reiterate lang namin, be a feast light planter. If you want to be a feast light planter, uh, please scan the QR code para at least uh, matulungan namin kayo, mag-guide namin kayo kung paano siya Ginagawa. Yes, sama ka dyan. And ito na, feed your faith. Read the Bible, the devotions, weekly fast talk, a uh, feast talk series, and many more via our Feast app. So yan, kung da-download nyo yan, kahawak yung mga sa telepono ninyo, QR code lang yan, at automatic magda-download na yan, or download going to our Play Store and App Store. And, and if gusto nyo naman, no, if yung uh, traditional type na gusto nyo na may naamoy yung page ng mga... Iba nga naman talaga, amoy ng mga... Yes, o. Oh, kung gusto nyo no, highlight pa kayo, no, meron din tayo na hard copy <laughs> Yan, no, ng mga daily devotions natin. Again, Didake, Sabat, Companion, and, and Gabay. No? Available ito sa Shopee and Lazada, National Bookstore, and sa mga feast natin. Tama ka dyan. At ito na, since kami ay ilang minuto na lang, no, kayo may po ay maghihintay ng inyong mga komento yes, at inyong oh. mga prayers na no, wala pa rin talaga. But it's okay, no? Um, just enjoy our Mass and our worship, of course, no? At makakasama na natin si Bro Alvin with Brother Tony na galing Japan. Japan, no? fresh from Japan. Yes, konnichiwa. No, at baka may mga nanonood din tayo dyan ng mga tiga Japan, no? Hello po, hello po. So ayan, ito po ang ating talk para sa ating fourth Sunday of Easter. Okay, ayan. Ayan, John 10, 15, verse 6. Ah, uh, 16. 16. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead and they will hear my voice and there will be one flock, one shepherd. So ikaw bro, ano ang reflection mo dito sa verse na ito? Ayun. So actually nga yun nabanggit ko kanina, gusto ko rin imitate yung leadership ni Jesus and yung service yes. niya. No? Kasi parang uh, he's a leader pero he is more into service din talaga. Yes. A king who serves. No? So ito yung naging reflection ko dito kasi um, 
parang yun nga, no? parang yung 99, 99 sheep, no? willing na willing si Lord na uh, iwan yung 99 para hanapin yung tayong nag-iisang nawa. Tama ka dyan, no? So, kayo mga ating mga mananood, no? if you feel lost at this moment, we are here from, we're here for you guys. No? Even the God, no? nandyan lang sa inyo mga tabi. Ayun. So, wag na wag nyo iisip na kayo ay nag-iisa sa buhay. Yes. At hindi, na, well, hindi naman din namin masisisi, no? Na hmm. ay lahat lang bagay ay tinalikuran nyo. But at the same time, we guarantee you, no? I personally, no? Dumating sa puntong yan. And ang masasabi ko ay hindi ko napansin na katabi ko lang palagi si Lord, no? Hmm. So, And if you have struggles, no, uh, ako personally nakatulong sa akin is yung community din talaga. No, parang um, sila talaga yung maglalapit sa iyo and magre-remind sa iyo na Jesus is always with us. Yes. No? So very important to stay in a community. And uh, especially for those na mga online natin, no, um, we want to see you here, no, yes. live personally. Oo, oh, oh, no. Kaya may time kayo sa mga susunod na Sunday, no. Pumunta lang maka din sa Plenary Hall PIC, sino so mga hindi alam. Excuse me. Kung nasaan ang PIC ito ay malapit sa Star City, no? So, search yun ang Star City and CCP, no? So, ayun. Again, every 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. We have two sessions every Sunday. Ang, ang first session natin ay English. No? At ito naman sa amin ay Taglish, Taglish. version. Oo, yeah. Yeah. So, kung saan kayo mas comfortable or for yes. example, yung biyahe nyo, no? Kung medyo hirap kayo gumising sa umaga, hapon pwede kayo sa hapon. Hapon tayo, yeah. no? Ayan. And lastly, then and again and again, balik tayo sa ating question of the week. Ito na, meron tayo Ayan. isa. From Kalel Taroma. Hello po, age what is group. the age group po for awesome kids? Um, as far as we know, eh, ito po ay basta bata. Wala lang po dito ang age limit, no? Wala po kami. Oh, oh, four, four up. Okay, four up tayo, no? Four to six. No, but as long as eh, dala kayong chikiting, eh, okay na okay naman yan. Kasi awesome kids is for the kids nga naman. No? So, ayan, um, broke a lel, no? So, wala naman tayong restriction when it comes to chikitings. No, oo, oh, oh, wala naman. Pero, ayun, as long na bata, go na go tayo. Yeah. At pwede niyo naman po sila, thank you so much, oh. pwede niyo po sila samahan doon. No, ayun. And meron tayong mga dedicated servants yes. na nag-attend sa mga kids natin. So yan, kami po ay il- ilang minuto na lamang ay magsisimula ng ating misa. No, with our father na si... Okay, wala pa ang ating father, father. no? Pero yes. once again, online feasters, this is your bestie here at Feast Frenny. Brother James. Thank you so much, online feasters. See maraming you. maraming salamat. Have a blessed Sunday. at the following points. If you are seated at the west wing of the plenary hall, your nearest exits are the two doors located on the left. If you are seated at the east wing of the plenary hall, your nearest exits are the two doors located on the right. If you're on the second floor or the balcony of plenary hall, you may choose among the following exits. The west wing exits, the east wing exits, or the exit doors leading towards the lobby. If you're on the third floor or gallery of Plenary Hall, your exit doors are located here, leading you towards the lobby. 
Next, vacate the premises in a calm and orderly fashion. Please avoid running, pushing, and shoving. Security personnel will be on hand to assist you. Once you are outside the building, where bonds are formed, where hearts find comfort, a journey that goes beyond what is, touching every facet of life. It's more than a gathering. It's a harmony of shared experiences. A foundation of hope. A vibrant mosaic of life's joy and challenges. A space for support and a sense of belonging. A place where our faith deepens our spirits nourished. Let's journey together. Let's start now. You are home. You are welcome. You are loved. turn off your mobile phones or switch to silent mode before the start of the celebration. During Holy Communion, let us receive the host with reverence. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand for the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, this fourth Sunday of Easter. The fourth Sunday of Easter is Good Shepherd Sunday. This image of Christ speaks of his love care, and self-giving unto death. It also reminds us of his victory through which we are delivered from a futile way of life. This Sunday is also World Day of Prayer for vocations. We implore the Lord to send shepherds of soul who can lead us to him and who, like him, can give themselves for the good of the flock. Let us pray for more vocations bound to serve God through the church. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Mark de Manuele, MSSP. Let us all rise to greet our celebrant as we begin our celebration. God of our salvation, set us free. 
death for his best The curse of sin is broken. The empty tomb stands open. Come and see. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. How's everybody here? Okay? Can you say hello to the person next to you, please? Check that he's okay, that she's okay. Because it's too hot, they might be fainting, you know. Good. And now let us welcome the Good Shepherd in the midst of us as we start in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. The communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Obviously, we come in front of the Lord. We come the way we are. There are times when we fail the Lord. But the Lord is a Lord of mercy, a caring Father. So we turn to you, Lord, and we ask you for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most evil fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together, let us give glory to God, who is our Lord.
ends of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. After curing a cripple, Peter and John proclaimed before the leaders of Israel that their power comes from Jesus, who was crucified but was raised from the dead. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter filled with the Holy Spirit, said to the leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has, has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. John invites us to marvel at the grace of God who now calls us his children in his son Jesus who offered his life for all of us. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it, it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Shepherd says the Lord, I know my sheep and mine know me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose, sheeps, whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep, the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd." This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power, power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> By now, you know that I come from a small island called Malta, a very, very small island 
in the Mediterranean, very close to Italy. And I used to live when I was young, like this. You know, I'm like this now, so maybe like this, okay? So when I was young, I lived in a village place. And it was like a village, and close to the house where I lived, there were some pastures, there were some fields there with a lot of uh, green, um, uh, yeah, some greenery there. And something very interesting that happened in my life when I was young was that there was a particular person that every day he used to take a flock of sheep, maybe 15 to 20 sheep, from their pen, from his house where he had them. He used to take them from in front of our house and goes to these greenery, green pastures. Every day, almost at the same time, he used to pass with this sheep. And I, being a Makulit young boy, when I was supposed to be studying, <clears throat> when I was supposed to be studying, I will be going out or going up on the balcony to look at this sheep. It fascinated me. And now that we read a gospel like this, this is the fourth Sunday, which is called the, shepherd, the Lord's as the Shepherd Sunday. And it really brings this memory to me because I realized what this shepherd used to do, the sacrifice of every day who take the sheep is what Jesus does for us. It is so true that Jesus is the good shepherd. For example, in the sheep, there were two particular ones, which I never forget. One was a black sheep, black because it, it, was, it has a lot of colored black, and he was called her Blackie. So he gave her name for her. Another one had a spot on his side. He was called her Spotty. It's like our pets, eh? we, give, we give them a name. Not only that, but these sheep were very attentive to the shepherd. So when, for example, one of them goes a bit further away, kind of, it, it runs a bit away, he would make a sound with his mouth, and the kind of, that sound will call the sheep back. And it, she listens, it listens, and it comes quickly back to where the shepherd is with the flock. There were so many particular things. For example, it's true also that when he had a lamb, which was a kind of a small, still young lamb, he used to put it on his shoulder, like, like what we see in the Jesus, the Good Shepherd. And I saw this with my own eyes, how the way this shepherd took care of the sheep in a very particular way. And I can see Jesus when he was still a young boy like me. And he could see the shepherds around him. He could see so many characteristics of the shepherds. And he could see how the shepherds, the good shepherds, they used to care for their flock he takes and he personalizes that image for himself. And because of this, the people of Israel could understand. Because they too also saw the sheep. So when he's saying that I am the good shepherd, it was a real thing. He was saying to them, as a shepherd, I take care of my sheep. I love my sheep. I will die for my sheep, not to be 
taken away by predators. This is the reality of Jesus. And this is what Jesus is saying to you today. You are his sheep. He is your shepherd. And as a shepherd, he cares for you. He knows you by name, even by a nickname. He knows everything about you. He knows your needs. And he is taking care of you in a very intimate way. I could see that be between this shepherd and his flock, the sheep, there was what I call a bond, a unity bond that brought them together. Practically, the sheep and the, she and the shepherd were like a family united together. Where the shepherd goes, the sheep follows. If they stray away, calling them back, listening to, them, to him, they come back to him. Wow. And another very important thing that today it particularly touched me is what he says to us today. I want you to listen to this. I am the good shepherd. Then he said, and I know mine and mine know me, which means that this shepherd truly knows each one of us. He, he knows everything about me. He knows my difficulties. He knows my injuries. He knows my problems, my crisis, my traumas. He knows everything because we are his and he is mine. But more than that, listen to this. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, this is very particular. You know what he's doing? Imagine God the Father who knows Jesus so well because it, he is his beloved son and Jesus the beloved son knows the Father so well. He's saying and comparing that with you and me with him. Can you see this, the connection as Jesus knows the Father, and the Father knows him, so does Jesus know me and know you. And he is saying to us, and we should know him too. This is really particular. I really feel very interested to know how Jesus connects us with the Father. We are united with the Father, which means that because of this bond that unites me with Jesus, it's uniting me with God the Father. And Jesus has one particular mission, he said, that he dies for us so we are alive. And he wants to take us where is very important, in pastures, in green pastures, so we over there can find food, can find good water, so that we are nourished. This is what Jesus is doing now, now, not 2,000 years ago, not tomorrow, now. He is caring for me. He is nourishing me. He is giving me good water. He is sharing with me a lot of love. And he's telling me, now you do the same. Why? Because each one of us is also a shepherd. We too have got our responsibilities. If you're a parent. If you are a person with responsibility at your work, if you are in the barangay, if you are a policeman, if you are a doctor, if I am a priest, all of us has got our responsibilities. And we are called to shepherd each other. We are called to be good leaders. 
leaders that we were following Jesus and us, we will call others to follow Jesus. Being a good shepherd like Jesus means we love, we care, we believe in those that we are taking care. Whether they are our own children, whether they are workers on the worker place, whether they are part of our community, let us take care of each other. Because that is what the Father is doing to us through Jesus, the Good Shepherd, giving us all that we need so that we can care and love what He is giving to each one of us. Jesus is not just the Good Shepherd. Jesus is your shepherd. Each one of us, in a personal way, we can say, the Lord Jesus is my personal shepherd, my personal leader, my personal trainer. Let's keep that in mind. Let us, during this week, we think how much God is caring and loving us to give us his only son to shepherd us. Amen. Please stand to profess our faith. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to our loving Father so that in following his son Jesus, the good shepherd, we may become instruments of his love and care for his people. We implore him and pray, Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Bless our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Jose Cardinal Advincula, our priests, deacons, religious, and all church ministers. Give them warm and caring hearts that they may be true shepherds of your people. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Grant that those in public office may be shepherds to those entrusted to their care, placing the welfare of others before their private interest and personal comfort. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Inspire more young people to find meaning and happiness in a life that is offered to you and dedicated to the service of their brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Make families and parishes fertile seedbeds of priestly, religious, and missionary vocations who will continue the mission of the Good Shepherd, seeking out the lost and, and those outside the fold. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Give the sick, the oppressed, victims of violence, and the abandoned the hope and joy that someday they will be freed from their bondage and experience God's promise of salvation. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayer. May the Good Shepherd lead the souls of our departed loved ones into the eternal rest of, their, of God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously Lord. hear our prayer. For the intentions of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, this month of April, that the dignity and the immense value of women be recognized in every culture and for the end of discrimination that they experience in different parts of the world. We pray. 
Lord, graciously hear our prayer. We bow down as we pray for all our in personal intentions and for all intentions commended to our prayers at this Mass. My brothers and sisters, I want you at this very moment, just now, it's two o'clock, one of our feast builders, who used to be a builder, Brother Miggs, if you remember. You remember Brother Miggs? Just now he's being ordained as a deacon. He is the fruit of the feast the fruit of this community. I promised him I cannot be there for his ordination because I am here with you. And I told him we will be praying especially for you. Him with two others, three of them, they are being ordained in the Manila Cathedral at this very moment. I ask you to pray that the community, the feast, community becomes truly a bed where so many others can follow Brother Mix and become priests or even consecrated ladies, women who can continue to be good shepherds in our church. Especially for today, Lord, I pray for vocations to come out of this community. Lord, you are the caller of people. You are calling us. You are calling so many young people who might be afraid to say yes for you at the moment. Let them overcome this fear and be able to listen to your call and also to follow you. We ask you all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, comes for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, becomes our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. And so let us pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, 
overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. I ask you those that you cannot kneel, please, to put your hand on your right chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, he gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. This is the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints, have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And we are introduced to the Father by the divine shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ here. He wants us to have this communion, this connection with him. And we can only do that through prayer. Let us pray this prayer that he told us as a way of connecting ourselves with our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. of God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Love of God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy Love of God, you 
And this is the Lamb of God. This is Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who lays his life for us so we can be saved. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy right. that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ will bring us to eternal life. Amen. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you. Sa aking ang tagapagtago 
to cherish the presence of Jesus in our hearts. Please rise and let us all pray the prayer for vocation. Virgin Mary, humble daughter of the Most High, in you, the mystery of the divine call was fulfilled in a marvelous way. You are the image of what God accomplishes in those who entrust themselves to Him. In you, the freedom of the Creator raised up the freedom of the creature. He who was born in your womb has joined in one single will the salvific freedom of God and the obedient assent of man. Thanks to you, the call of God is definitively joined with the response of the man God, first fruit of a new life. You keep for us all the generous yes of joy and love. Holy Mary, mother of all who are called, make all believers have the strength to answer the divine call with generous courage and let them be joyful witnesses of love towards God and towards their neighbor. Direct the young people of the new millennium toward him who is the true light, who enlightens all men and women. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us all thank Reverend Father Mark de Manuele for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. We always thank our, all our servants. Many of them are here from very, very long time. We give a big hand to all of them, people in black, people in white, people in brown. These are our people, our servants. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go with the peace of the Lord, our Good Shepherd.
Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. God bless you. Make some noise for Jesus in this place. God is good. Amen. Good to see you, Lee. I'm back. Grabe ibang feeling talaga, no? Good to see you. Our new faces. Can we share so fast? Mga first timers. Do we have first timers in the house? Mga first timers. Itas ang kamay. Ay, ang dami. Mga first timers. Welcome. Kung katabi niyo po ang mga first timers, please greet the first timer beside you. Welcome home. And sa ating lahat, welcome home to the feast where you are loved. Amen. Yeah, pwede tayo mo po. And as you sit down, I invite you to prepare your love offering envelopes. Pwede nyo isulat ang mga prayer intentions nyo, your request, And pwede din i-share nyo sa atin ang mga answered prayers and thanksgiving nyo for this past week. No? Kasi we have servants who are praying for you. And syempre, we want to thank the Lord sa lahat ng mga blessings na nagtatanggap natin this past week. Sounds good? Yes, alam niyo po, uh, aside from our first-timers, first-timers, no, bamaya wag kayo mawala. We want to welcome you officially to our Feast family. So kita-kits tayo dito sa side ng stage, yan, dito, no, after our session mamaya. But of course, aside from our first-timers, meron po tayo mga viewers din online. Palakpakan natin sila, all of our viewers online, kung saan man po sila sa buong mundo. Yes, we have a regular uh, viewership online every week po yan. And alam nyo, if you happen to miss out on past talks, pwede nyo i-recap sa ating Facebook page, no? The Feast PICC PM on Facebook. Alright? And ito ha, I just want to announce and we're happy to share. Kasi kahapon, we had a wonderful experience as we welcomed new servants to the Feast through our Jesus Encounter. Pakiulit, Jesus Encounter. Yeah, no. If you've not experienced the Jesus encounter, ito ay parang simula, you know, for you to be part of our feast family, no. And yesterday, kahapon, we had around almost 60 participants. Palapakan natin sila. Are some of our participants here? Meron po ba? Those who attended the JE yesterday, nandito po ba? Yeah, no. I hope that some of them yan meron. Kasi some of our servants also attended. And this happened sa Feast Center Ortiga sa Rob's Galleria. No, whole day po yan. And we were there. Ako po, si Brother Philip, Sumera, Brother Odi, Doc Didoy, Sis Reza. And we had a wonderful experience of encountering Jesus again. So I hope and pray sa mga hindi pa nakapag-experience ng JE, makakapag-experience kayo sa sunod na JE. Sounds good? Yan. Alam nyo, here's one more thing. We also invite you to serve with us. That is why, no? Hindi kailangan hintayin pa ng JE. You can join us today. Sign up with us. Join and serve with us in the kitchen. Pakiulit, kitchen. 
Yan. Baka kala nyo may kitchen sa likod. Ha? Wala. Pwede din. What I mean, what we mean by kitchen is that kasama na po kayo with our servants making the feast happen every Sunday. no? So palakpakan natin ang mga servants every Sunday. Nandito po sila. And alam nyo, kasi sa dumadami ng mga attendees like you who are coming every Sunday, kailangan maraming servants din. no? We pray to the Lord to send more laborers into the vineyard. no? Kasi we need more servants to welcome you, to attract you, to bless you every Sunday. So malay natin, maybe the Lord is inviting you now to be part of the kitchen. No, Join us, mga servants. Hindi lang dito on stage, pwede din on the side, behind the stage, sa production, sa music, no? sa warmth, ang dami. So why not now? Pakisabi sa katabi, why not now? Yan. Si Lord, alam mo si Lord, He's not satisfied na nandyan lang kayo nako po. He wants you to serve. So mamaya po, sa, sa labas, you can of course scan yung QR code and sign up today. Okay? Shout out sa mga couples. Meron po ba mga couples dito? Mag-asawa? Parang ilan lang ah. <laughs> Itas ang kamay, iwagayway, mag-asawa, in, 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 of course, married, yan. Yeah, no? right, palakpangan natin sila, mga couples. And so, couples, we want to invite you kasi we are having our Lux, our Lux Couples Retreat next weekend na. So this is the last weekend we're calling out and shouting out sa inyo. Batch 31 po ito and you can sign up today in the lobby, April 26 to 27, St. Camilo's, Loyola Heights QC. Yo, and so you can register today. Alam nyo, uh, when we joined in uh, the Lux Retreat, few years ago lang, no? not too long ago, iba talaga ang feeling. Parang na-strengthen yung marriage namin mag-asawa. na yung relationship, na strengthen yung faith in our Lord to love one another more. Couples, gusto niyo po ba yon? Yes! O, diba? Alam nyo, you have to work on your marriage. Hindi yan lang, ay, kasal na, tapos na. No! It's every day, nililigawan mo siya. Every day, kailangan mahalin mo siya. And that's part of our vocation, bilang mag-asawa. Vocation po yan. So join us in our love, our Lux Retreat this coming weekend. And here, you want to shout out sa mga youth naman. Youth in the house! <laughs> Parang mas malakas pala yung youth, ha? Youth! Mga feeling youth! Mas lumakas talaga pag feeling youth, eh, no? Pero, we want to also promote the youth and to help promote the youth and to lead us into our love offering exhortation. I call up here on stage a fellow youth leader and campus missionary dito sa ating Feast Bay Area District, Please welcome Za De La Cruz. Hello po. Good afternoon po. Hi Kuya Tony. Ay, okay lang po. Good afternoon PICCPM. Um Feast PICC. Hello po. Are there anyone who is 14 to 24 years old po? Can I have a raise of hands po? Yon. And the parents also of those who are 14 to 24 po. Yon. Hello po. I am Doc Za. I am one of the full-time uh, youth missionaries that we have here in Feast Bay area po. Um, so once a month, the youth is given the opportunity to stand here para po i-promote sa inyo yung youth ministry for those who are 14 to 24 years old and the parents of 14 to 24 years old po. We have two things that we mainly do right now in the youth ministry. First, we have our light groups po. The light groups, it happens every Sunday here po sa PICC in between the AM and PM sessions um, from 12.30 po until 1.30 PM. Once a month, um, the houses of the youth missionaries and some of our youth leaders, we open it up so that we can have um, early dinner with the youth and then... We drink coffee together, we talk about life, we talk about our doubts, our hopes, our dreams, and most especially, we get to talk about God and the Bible. You Wouldn't you believe it, the youth talking about God and the Bible? So, aside from that, kaya din po kami nandito every, I think, third week of the month because at the last week, last Saturday of the month, we have this big gathering where the youth from Every feast in Bay Area, Feast Ashana, Feast Manila, Feast PICCAM, and Feast PICCPM gather together in a feast-like event po, which we call Youth Home. It happens every, every last Saturday of the month um, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Accelerate, Makati. So it looks like the feast except everyone from the preacher up until the warmth ministries, the youth. I believe I am the oldest in the youth gathering that happens every month. 
So this is the oldest that you will see in the youth missions already. So we have kids, youth as young as 12 sometimes who come with their um, older brothers and older sisters. Um, for May I ask everybody to take this chance po to write in your LO if you haven't yet. Okay lang po ba if mag-share ako ng very slight lang po tungkol sa life ko po sa youth missions? Um, so I start. I joined the feast um, 2012. Po. So late 2012, I started serving in Feast Manila, one of our smaller feasts in the district. Um, I was there from 2013 up until 2018. Uh, yung Feast Manila po I located near the universities, and 80% po ng population of that feast at that time I youth po. So. We get to fill up every Friday at that time um, one cinema in SM Manila po. Um, I believe mga 600 po yung capacity niya. So around 1,800 youth every single Friday. But the sad part is, when we do the LO, since it's Friday, syempre wala na pong pera yung youth. <laughs> and then, ang running joke po dati ng... Kasi warmth po ako, so we, yung envelope sa amin po napupunta, and then pinapasa po namin sa finance ministry. Ang running joke po dati ng finance ministry ng Feast Manila ay anlibente. <laughs> Kasi po, ang giving sa Feast Manila at that time, puro orange bills. <laughs> Maswerte na po kami pag nakakakita kami ng purple. Kapag po nakakita kami ng yellow, buhay ang Panginoon. <laughs> um, bakit ko po siya sinishare sa inyo ngayon sa PICCPM? Um, what I want you to know is that your generosity here at PICCPM, it makes it possible for the smaller feasts in our district to work. So for the five years that I was staying there, I wa guilty po ako sa Anli Bente. Kasama po ako dun sa mga Bente na laman. Hindi na po Bente laman nito, promise. <laughs> um, uh, guilty po ako dun. And your generosity, hindi nyo lang po alam, but aside from the minis uh, worship, uh, the ministries that we have written in this envelopes, you are also supporting the Feast uh, Youth Ministry. Every youth home that we have, every LGs that we have, you're giving is making it possible po for us to do it. So, um, siguro po kaya po kami pinapaakyat dito sa stage every once in a while so that you have a face. Uh, you know that something is happening even if you don't get to see it every time. And our hope po, sana po today, uh, if we could give a little more so that the youth po, that we have, we can still do it so that the ministers of the youth can still do what God has planted in our hearts. May I invite everybody to, to stand up so that we could pray for our love offering. In the name of Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, as we lift up to you our love offerings today, we thank you, Father, for the opportunity to give. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to be stewards of these treasures that you have given us. We thank you for the past week, for the good things and the bad, Father. We thank you for everything and we pray, Father, that as we let go of these envelopes, as we give what we have in your hands to yours, Father, we give because we trust that in your hands, what we give, you can multiply and that you can bless many more lives infinitely, Father. This is all we Pray, Father, in your name. Amen. So with the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. With smiles in our faces and joy in our hearts, brothers and sisters, let's give to the Lord. Magandang, magandang hapon, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Feast Bay Area PM Session. Tumingin muna sa iyong katabi at sabihin, masaya ko at nandito ka. Here are some announcements. The Feast Bay Area District is holding its daily Divine Mercy Chaplet prayer sessions from Mondays to Saturdays at 3 p.m. 
Join us in prayer as we honor the divine mercy of Jesus and implore His grace for peace. Let us continue honoring our Holy Mother as one community in our online Holy Rosary sessions. Our sessions happen on Monday until Friday, except Wednesday at 9.15 p.m. On Wednesdays, the Holy Rosary takes place at 9 p.m. While during the weekend, we pray the Rosary at 8.30 p.m. Online praying sessions are live via Zoom. To know more, please join our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash FBA Holy Rosary. Are you planning to celebrate your birthday or wedding anniversary in a more meaningful way? Or have the desire to help the poorest of the poor? Know more about the Feast Mercy Ministries today by visiting our table in the lobby. Do you feel blessed while attending the feast? Share the feast experience with your home, office, or neighborhood. Be a Feast Light Planter. Scan the QR code to sign up or visit the Feast Light table at the lobby and be a disciple maker today. Attention parents, the Awesome Kids Ministry is now open to kids ages 4 to 6 years old. You may now bring them at the D-Reg room beside the kids' corner. Again, that is D-Reg room beside the kids' corner. You may ask any of our friendly ushers to guide you. Calling all the children of God! Halika, samahan mo kaming magluto at maghandog sa kusina ng Diyos. Ihanda ang kanyang mga bisita para sa napakagandang regalo ng presensya mo at talento na mayroon ka. Serve Him by joining us in our different feast, PICC PM Ministries. Scan the QR code flashed on the screen to register. Ano pang inihintay mo? Kumakatok na si Lord sa pintu mo. And all you have to do is say, Yes, Lord! Pagkat dito sa The Feast, mayroong magandang mangyayari sa'yo. Next Sunday, April 28th, we will still be here at the PICC Plenary Hall for the 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. sessions. Please observe PICC's dress code and make sure to follow us on social media for more updates. Continue nourishing your mind, heart, and soul through our online weekly programs via our Feast Bay Area Facebook page. And now, brothers and sisters, please direct your attention to the screen. All right, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon. I want to invite everyone to stand up. All right. I have a question for all of you. Are we all ready to rejoice in God's mighty presence today? Yeah. And indeed, it's in Jesus' name that we are all fulfilled. Amen. amen. So I hear an amen. amen. All right, let's all continue to worship God in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want everybody to put your hands together just like this. Come on.
Jesus Christ's name that we are here, amen? It is in His name that what is impossible or seem impossible, He made possible, amen? Yung akala natin na situation natin before, nakala natin hindi natin na maitatawid or hindi natin malalampasan, nalampasan natin, right? And meron tayo mga situation before, uh, now that we have that we are thinking na hindi natin kayang lampasan. But it is the same name na kasama natin. It is the same name na nagtawid sa atin before. Siya rin na magtatawid at sasama sa atin para ma-accomplish natin yung mga yan. Para malampasan natin yung mga yan. Amen? We just have to trust His name. We just have to trust Jesus Christ. And everything and everything will be well. We can clap our hands louder than that. For the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray our favorite prayer at the feast. Everybody, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Welcome again to the feast where you are loved. And welcome to the continuation of our powerful Spirit-lifting, life-giving talk series for the Easter season. Sa ating po mga first-timers, welcome to the feast. Ang ating po mga talk ay napapaloob sa isang serye. 
parang teleserye. Pero kung isang talk lang ang inyong mapapakinggan ngayon, stand alone naman siya. Pero pinapaalala namin yung mga nakalipas. Dahil pangatlong talk na po ito ng ating Easter special series, Raised to Life. At muli, paalala, tayo po ay nasa panahon ng Easter hanggang Pentecost po yan. Ito ay panahon na ipinagdiriwang natin ang muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoong Jesus. At yung life po sa ating series ay acrostic, acronym. Ibig sabihin may pakahulugan ng bawat letra. L for love. I for identity. At ngayon, nasa talk three tayo sa letter F, fulfillment. Sabihin nyo nga pong lahat, fulfillment. Kung iisipin ninyo, yung talk one, love, tinalakay natin doon yung ano dapat natin gawin. What should we do? And the quickest and the biggest and the most important answer is we should love. Sa talk to naman, sinagot natin yung tanong na who are we? Sino ba tayo? Kaya ang pinag-usapan natin last Sunday ay identity. At sinagot natin yon Tayo ay anak ng Diyos. Napakahalaga ng talk three. Ako po'y nagtuturo ng philosophy sa mahabang panahon. At para sa akin po, mahalaga yung mga tanong na what, who, when, where, how. Pero para sa akin po, ang pinakamahalagang tanong ay why. <laughs> Bakit? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Bakit tayo nandito? Our purpose because that is what will give us our fulfillment. And we will all go home with this big message. God desires you to live life to the fullest. Hindi lang tayo muling binuhay ng Panginoon sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Binuhay tayo upang magkaroon ng buhay na lubos, ganap, kasiyasiya, masagana, buhay na buhay na buhay. We sing to the word of the Lord. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Marahil pamilyar kayo ang lahat. Marami sa inyo, lalo yung mga nagbabasa ng Biblia. Sa ating babasahin, John 10.10. Ako po, personally, ito isa sa mga pinakapaborito kong verses. At kung kabisado niyo yung John 10.10, sigurado ang alam niyo dito, ito. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Ang nagsasalita, ang Panginoong Hesus. Ako ay dumating upang ikaw ay magkaroon ng buhay. Buhay na lubos, ganap, masagana. Buhay na punong-puno. Full life. Pero marahil lang hindi o nakakaligtaan o hindi alam ng marami, hindi yan yung buo ng John 10.10. Dahil ang John 10.10, mayroon po mga verses na dalawa sa isang verse, dalawang statement. Dahil mababasa nyo, ang unang statement niyan ito. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. May magnanakaw. At yung magnanakaw, nanakawin niya, sisirain niya, papatayin pa niya, ang buhay na binigay o binibigay sa atin ng Diyos. Hmm. Sino yung magnanakaw na yon? Well, alam natin, generally, demonyo yan. Kalaban. Pero matututunan din natin ngayon na minsan naman, masyado natin binibigyan ng credit yung demonyo. Eh. 
minsan tayo yung mismong nagnanakaw at pumapatay at sumisira sa buhay na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos. Kaya ng mga pag-aaralan natin at ipagdasal sa talk na ito na malabanan natin ang mga magnanakaw, ang mga pumapatay, ang mga sumisira sa buhay na binibigay sa atin ng Diyos. In Jesus' name, we pray and we sing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Thank you, Jesus. Let's clap our hands to the Lord for His Word, alive and fresh. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Can we clap our hands for our fantastic worship team? Thank you so much to our band and to all the servants. Thank you, Tim. Sige, bago kayo mo po, sabi mo sa katabi mo, buhay ka ba? Ah, obvious naman, di ba? Pero buhay na buhay. Yan. Kasi bakit? Ang big message uli natin ngayon sa ating talk ay ito. God wants you to live your life to the fullest. Muli, ha, may mga, di ba, minsan pag, pag, pag naiinis tayo, di ba, o nag-aaway, o masasakit ang salita natin sa kinainisan natin, sinasabi natin, ikaw, buhay ka na, uh, buhay ka pa, pero patay ka na. Di ba? Naglalakad ka na lang, ng, uh, gumagalaw ka na lang. Pero sa totoo lang, may mga taong ganyan, di ba? Na they just exist. <laughs> they just survive. Kaya ako, ako lang po ito ha. Hindi naman ito, hindi naman ito nakasulat sa bato. Pero iniiwasan ko po yung mga salitang, Kamusta ka? Ito, nakakaraos. Para bang ang buhay ay makaraos lang? Ito, nakakatawid. Ito, ha? Ah, yung ba ang gusto ng Diyos? Binuhay ka para makaraos ka? Hindi. Ah, gusto ng Diyos, lubos, ganap, masagana. Ang tanong, ano ibig sabihin ng lubos, ganap, at masagana? Yan yung translation sa Tagalog. Eh. Sa iba, lubos, ganap, at kasiyasiya. Lubos, ganap, at punong-puno. So ano ibig sabihin ba nun? What does it mean to live life to the fullest? What is a fulfilled life? Ako din po gusto kong paglaruan ng mga salita. Tingnan nyo. Fulfilled. Sabihin nyo lahat, fulfilled. O di ba pwede mo nang hatiin yan sa mga salitang full at filled? Di ba? Full na, filled pa. O, sasabihin nyo lang, English teacher din ako, ingatan nyo lang yung pronunciation. Ha, hindi ko nasulat. Pero pwede kasing maging full. Ano, iba yung full. Puno. Eh, yung full, hangal yun. Di ba? Ikaw, loko ka talaga. You're a fool. Baka ikaw yung full, filled, punong-puno ng kahangalan. Kaya, ano ang tunay na magbibigay sa atin ng buhay na ganap tulad ng sinasabi ng Panginoon? Iba-iba ang sagot natin. Iba-iba ang trip natin eh. Yung iba, yung marami ang magbibigay ng buhay na punong-puno sa akin ay tadaan, pera. Yung iba, kwarta. Yung iba, salapi. Yung iba, dollars. <laughs> Peso, pareho-pareho. Ito, uunahan ko sa inyo. Hindi naman po masama yan. Ay, tayo dito sa feast, hindi natin dinidemonize ang pera. Dahil mahalaga ang pera. Huwag lang doon iikot ang buong buhay. Yung iba, ang magkakapagbigay sa kanila ng punong-punong buhay ay kapangyarihan. Talagang, di ba, mangdaraya, tatapak ng iba, papatay pa nga para sa kapangyarihan. Who? Eh di ba yan yung nangyayari ngayon sa daigdig? Dumadami ata yung mga nag-aaway ng mga bansa ngayon. Mamaya papasadahan ko yan, makikita niyo namamatay araw-araw, libo-libo, daan-daan. Para saan? Kapangyarihan. Akin ito, akin ito, dito lang kayo, hindi ito inyo. Power ang magbibigay ng punong-punong buhay para sa amin. Unahan ko din kayo, hindi naman lubos na masama ang power. 
O di ba si Jesus, pinadala nga niya sa Pentecost, dinala ang Holy Spirit to give power. O di ba yung mga apostoles, di ba, mga takot na takot yun nung nawala ang Panginoon. Pero nung nagka-power, ah, lumabas, nagsalita, kailangan natin ng power. Ang tanong, saan mo gagamitin yung power mo? Yan. Ano, lalo na yung posisyon, impluensya, hindi naman masama yan. Kung ikaw ay boss, kung ikaw ay uh, manager, kung ikaw ay politiko, kung ikaw ay may-ari ng isang establishment, hindi masama yan. Pero yung impluensya at posisyon, saan mo gagamitin para magkaroon ng buhay na puno, hindi lang ikaw at ang iba? Yung iba naman, fame, kasikatan, at gagawin ang lahat para magkapangalan. O, oh, totoong-totoo yan. Saan? Social media. Kasi lahat ngayon, meron ng kakayanan sumikat. <laughs> Noon, ang, paus- ang, kaka- ang-, ang way lang para sumikat, TV. Di ba? O sa radyo. Kaya gusto natin lahat mapanood sa TV. Lalo na kung magiging artista ka at mapapanood sa sinihan. Eh ngayon, eh, mag-viral lang yung, yung YouTube, yung, yung TikTok. Pwede ka nang sikat. Eh. Di ba? Mas sikat pa nga ngayon yung mga vlogger. <laughs> Di ba? Million-million pa kinikita. So yung iba, kasikatan ang magbibigay ng punong-punong buhay. Ulit, hindi natin dinidemonize yan. Si Brother Bo Sanchez, pagkasama ko, naku, talagang sikat na sikat. So, masama ba si Brother Bo dahil sikat siya? Ay, hindi. Sumikat siya na dahil sa kanyang ginagawa. Sumulat ng libro at sa kanyang buhay, masama ba yun? At saan niya ginagamit yung kanyang kasikatan? Abay, para lalong dumami ang lumapit sa Diyos. Hindi masama. Yung iba naman, mga, mga uh, iniisip nating mas praktikal. Halimbawa, paano magiging puno at lubos ang iyong buhay? Yung iba ang sagot, healthy life. Oo. Oh, pwede rin yun, hindi ba? Eh, paano ka nga namang ha? makakapaglingkod, makakapagtrabaho, paano ka magmamahal? Ah, kung maaga pa lang, eh, di ba, eh, ikaw ay sakitin na. Kaya tama rin ang pangalagaan natin ng ating pangatawan. Yung iba naman, love life. Pagpapalit talaga nilang lahat para sa pag-ibig, para sa kanyang jowa. At um, hihinto ang buong mundo pagkasama kita. Oh, di ba? Kasi ikaw lang, punong-puno na ako. You complete me. Oh, di ba? Yung iba naman, simpleng buhay lang. Ah, gusto ko lang simpleng pamilya o simpleng tahanan o kahit sa probinsya, magtanim lang ako ng kamote. Di ba? Okay na ako dun. So in short, ano ang ibig sabihin ng buhay na lubos at ganap? Well, dipindi. <laughs> What we find fulfilling differs from others because it's based on our values. Depende kung paano din tayo pinalaki Depende din sa ating geographical locations. Yung mga pinanganak sa kaduluduluhan ng mga probinsya, iba yung ligaya nun eh. Ah, dun sa mga nasa gitna ng syudad, iba yung mga kaligayahan ng mga nasa Africa o ng mga nasa Israel o nasa Gaza. Iba yung kaligayahan ng nandu doon sa nakatira sa Mindanao. O sa iba, iba, iba. Iba, iba, depende din sa ating beliefs, sa ating pananampalataya, sa ating mga prinsipyo. Depende din sa ating satisfaction. So, ang una natin take dyan ay hindi natin mapipilit sa bawat isa kung ano ibig sabihin ng buhay na lubos at ganap. Pero mali din yung relative, ha? mali din yung, so kanya-kanya, ha? depende-depende yan, hindi. Kasi mayroon pa rin mga general and universal truths kung ano ang nagbibigay ng tunay na buhay na lubos, ganap at kasiyasiya. Bakit? Bigyan ko yun ng sample. Kilala niyo si Michael Phelps? Si Michael Phelps po, ang most decorated Olympian of all time. American swimmer po siya. Ang tawag sa kanya, the God of Golds. Grabe. Bakit? Wala pa at mukhang mahihirapang talunin ang record ni Michael Phelps. Sa Olympics ito ha, 39 world records, 28 Olympic medals, 28 at uh, 23 doon gold 23 gold isang tao pa lang <laughs> tayo isang beses na nagka-gold di ba umatay-matay na tayong lahat di ba ah, kaya oh, ah, kaya dapat patuloy nating uh, suportahan at hangaan si Heidi Lindias ha ah, nag-fister po yan dito kasi singit ko lang kasi hindi siya nag-qualify sa Paris 
Pero yung ginawa niya sa atin, hindi na mabubura sa kasaysayan. Di ba? Binigyan. Palakpakan nga natin si Sister Heidelin Diaz. Alam niyo ba na nag nagtayo pa ng feast light yan para nanonood yung kanyang mga tinitray ng feast? Pero ito si Michael Phelps, gabi, 23 gold, 3 silver, 2 bronze. At siyempre, kinayaman niya yan. Ang net worth niya, many years ago pa yan, 100 million dollars. Gabi. I-times mo pa yan sa 57 na ba ngayon? 56. Gabi! At wala na makakabura sa kasikatan niya. Nasa kanya na lahat. Pera, kapangyarihan, hindi ba? At uh, kasikatan. Pero alam niyo bang naging kwento niya bago mag-pandemic? Bago pa to ng pandemic, ha? Nagkulong sa kanyang kwarto. Two weeks halos. Alam niyo kung ano nangyari? Tanong niyo, ano? Na-depress. Oh, ganyan din yung una kong reaction, sister. What? Ganyan. Kasi sigurado ka magugulat ka. Bakit? Nasa kanya na lahat. Di ba? Eh pero yun nga ang madalas na kwento ng marami. Akala nila nasa kanila na lahat. In fact, delikado nga kung akala mo nasa iyo na lahat. Kasi kung nasa iyo na lahat, ano pa ngayon ang dahilan mo para magising bukas? Wala ka nang hinahabol. Wala ka nang pinapangarap. Siguro, na nagsisimulang mag-swimming at mag-Olympic si Michael Phelps, gusto ko magka-gold. At doon nagka-gold siya, woohoo! Yung pangalawa, gold! Pangatlo, gold! Pero kapatid, pang 10, pang 15, okay, gold. <laughs> pang 20, oh, gold. Pag naging ordinaryo na ngayon yung success mo eh. Gusto ko magkapera, 1 million, 2 million, pag 100 million na. So, baka, baka lang, hindi ko siya kilala, hindi ko pa nakakausap eh. Subukan ko tawagan bukas, baka sakali. Bakit siya na-depress? Yan yung bakit, hindi ko po alam. Pero ang alam ko, nagamot yun. Pero bago po yung gamot, ha? bago yung good story, redeeming story niya. So, ayoko na. Ayoko na sumikat. Ayoko na yumaman. Ayoko na ng kapangyarihan. Madidepress lang pala ako. Gusto ko, simpleng buhay na lang. Ay, hindi din na Hindi din po. Ay, ikot po ako ng ikot tong mga bawat linggo. Mayroon po akong pinupuntahang probinsya. The other week lang, or was that last week, nasa Cagayan de Oro po ako. Tapos kalahati no, nasa Sorsogon ako. Hindi ko nasasabihin kung saan ito ha. Maka, ha? Pero makikita nyo man sa YouTube. Dumaan kami sa Tulay. Doon sa probinsya yon, Sa syudad na yon. Tapos nung dumaan kami sa Tulay na yan, kuinento sa akin ng mga nagdadrive, Brother Alvin, sikat po ito kahit sa YouTube tong Tulay naming ito. Marcos Bridge, ang tawag doon sa tulay. So baka alam niyo kung nasaan na yan. Habi ko, ah, babakit sikat? Dahil president natin, ma- hindi po. Kasi po itong tulay na ito, 47 na po tumatalon dito last year pa lang yun. Halos average po ng apat ang tumatalon dito kada buwan. Hindi ko po masabi yung salita. Nag-iingat na tayo salita, pero nababawian, binabawing kanilang buhay. Grabe, kakilabot. Kaya yung mga nakaluhod na yan, ang dami mga prayer groups na nagdadasal, binantayan na nga ng mga tanod eh. Sino po yung mga tumatalon dito at tinatapos yung anilang buhay? Iba-iba. Minsan mga 14 years old. Minsan mga 17 years old. Sabi ko mga bata, ano yung mga bata? Ay, nung kwinento ko sa tita ko na taga ron, totoo ba? Sabi ko, ay nako. Last year yan, eh two weeks ago lang, dalawa yung sa amin. Isang 17 at isang 72. 72. Ang patiwakal pa. Eh natawa pa sila. Sabi nga namin eh, konti na lang naman yung hinihintay niya, nainip pa. <laughs> may mahirap na gawing joke po yan. Ha? Sorry, pa umanin. Pero para lang gumaanggaang, mahirap na usapan ito eh. Pero sinasabi ko po sa inyo, 
Kaya hindi ko mo, ikaw ay mayaman, ikaw ay madidepress ka. Kasi kahit mga mahihirap, lalo nga nadidepression yun, di ba? Pag hindi na makayanan. Kaya walang pinipili po ang mga taong nawalan ng dahilan para mabuhay. Eh bakit mo ba tinapos yung buhay mo? Simple lang eh. Wala ka nang makitang dahilan. Wala ka nang way out kung ano man yung hinaharap mong problema. Salamat na lang. Doon sa kwento ni Michael Phelps, mayroong happy ending or happy beginning. Tanong nyo, paano? Ano nangyari? May nagbigay sa kanya ng libro, si Rick Warren. Ang binigay na libro sa kanya, ang title, Purpose Driven Life. Kaya yan ang tinuturo ko sa mga high school namin. Eh. Module ko talaga yan sa senior high school. Eh. Si Rick Warren, ayan, oh, na, na, balita po yan kay Michael Phelps. Talagang it was all over the news. Michael Phelps says Rick Warren's purpose-driven life saved him. Kita nyo yung salita. Hindi lang siya na-depressed. Talagang iniisip niya, tapusin niya buhay niya. After. And he had everything. Pero si Rick Warren po, na-meet ko niyan si Rick Warren sa Amerika, sumulat siya ng libro eh. Many, many, many years ago, ha, sumikat dito hanggang sa Pilipinas siya. Ha, nung, 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 nung pinakita nga sa akin yung libro, sabi ko, ano yan? Binirgalo sa akin ng kapatid ko. Ha, ang ganda nito ha, pero hindi ito sisikat. Sabi ko, kasi ang lalim ng, salit, ng title, Purpose Driven Life. Sabi ko, lalim. Tapos sa ilalim pa, what on earth am I here for? Mali ako. Sumikat yung libro. On its first month, 4 million copies. On its first year, 10 million copies. Hanggang sa may panahon noon, pati mga garagarahe dito sa Pilipinas, ha? Purpose Driven Life Retreat. Purpose Driven Life. Grabe, mga madre, mga born again. Aralan ng librong yan. Ang daming sinave ng librong yan. Bakit? Sinagot niya yung pinakatanong ng lahat, eh, yung nasa baba. What on earth am I here for? Sooner or later, kapatid, tatanong mo yan eh. Tatrabaho ka, may negosyo ka, Tatay ka, nanay ka, politiko ka, engineer ka, doktor ka. Sooner or later, tatanong mo, ba't ko ba ginagawa ito? Para saan ba ito? Si Kule Desma, kilala niyo pa, di ba? Sikat pa rin siya ngayon. Nung bata ako, gustong gusto ko yung kantang kinasikat niya, di ba? Dito ba? Dito ba? Para naubusan ng lyrics eh. Ulit-ulit eh. Dito ba? O dito ba? Ulit, di ba? Pero songwriter ako, alam ko yan eh. Inuulit-ulit yan para recall. Para pag inuulit-ulit mo ba, dito ba, dito ba, dito ba, dito ba, hindi niya makita talaga, hinahanap eh. Tapos biglang binagsak niya, ang dapat kong kalagyan sa isang sulok kong hiram sa ilalim ng araw. Alvin Barcelona po yun, hindi yung Kule Desma. Medyo mabigat yung boses. Pero nakasama ko din yung si Ku, ilang beses na. Napakatalinhaga nung lyrics. Pero sa English, yan yung sinasabing, where is my place under the sun? Diba? All of us have our places under the sun. Ibig sabihin nun, lahat tayo, hindi tayo basta pumus- sumulpot lang sa planetang ito para wala lang. Meron tayong kahulugan at meron tayong layunin na hinahanap natin. At pag nakita natin yon yun ang fulfilled life. Fulfilled life is living a purposeful life. A meaningful life. Si Michael Phelps, nung nabasa na niya yung libro ni Rick Warren, Natapos na yung kanyang depression at mag-isip, sumaling uli ng Olympics. Hindi <laughs> na siya nanalo. Tinalo na siya ng mas bata. Singapore na mas bata sa kanya. Silver na lang ata sa niya. But you know what? You know what? Ask me what? Tanggap niya. Nangiti lang siya. Una sa lahat, grabe, hindi na mabubura yung kanyang record eh. Pangalawa, may mas malalim na siyang dahilan para mabuhay. Hindi lang para sa medalya. <laughs> hindi lang para... Mas malalim. Hanap tayo ng lalim. Kaya pag ako nagbibigay ng talk, sa mga retirees, 
Brother Alvin Magui, retire na kami. Anong gagawin namin pagkatapos nito? Ay, pagi ako nagt- nagtotok ngayon, mamayang gabi, akit na naman ako sa Benguet, bukas. Mga government officials, iniikot ko. Lagi ko sinasabi, mahalin niyo yan, trabaho niyo, yung posisyon niyo. Pero tandaan niyo, hindi yan nabang panahon. Kasi pag umikot ang buhay mo sa pagiging mayor, pagiging kapitan, may mga kausap ko eh. Mahalaga yan, ha? Posisyon, mahalaga yan. Pero paano pag di ka na mayor? mag election na naman next year. Paano pag di ka na kapitan? Paano pag hindi na ikaw CEO ng iyong kumpanya? Paano pag hindi na ikaw ang regional director? Paano pag hindi na ikaw ang manager? Paano pag hindi na ikaw ang principal? Eh nakakabit doon yung purpose mo. Nawawalan ka na din ng purpose. Hindi. May mas malalim na purpose. Mahalaga ang pagiging negosyante mo, mahalaga ang, pagi, uh, ang, 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 ang posisyon mo, pero may mas mahalaga pa dyan. Hanapin mo yung ilalim nun para anuman ang magbago, ito hindi magbabago. Dahil ito ang layunin ko, hindi lang dito, kundi hanggang sa dulo ng walang hanggan, hanggang sa kabila, dadalhin ko ito. Amen? Mamaya po, si Brother Tony Tuturuan niya tayo. Ipapaalala niya sa atin yung five P's to a fulfilled life. Ano yung mga sikreto para talagang maging lubos at ganap? Ako itutuloy ko lang yung mga magnanakaw ng full life na yan. The three C's that still steal, kill, and destroy life. Tandaan niyo yung John 10.10? Naalala niyo? Diba, masikat dyan, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Pero ano sabi ko, bago pala yan, winarningan tayo. There's a thief, magnanakaw, napapatayin na nakawin, sisirain yung buhay mo. Yung buhay mong masaya, buhay mong fulfilled, may magnanakaw. At uulitin ko, hindi palagi yung demonyo nagnanakaw niyan. Minsan tayo, ninanakaw natin. Tatlong si, mga magnanakaw ng ating buhay na lubos at ganap. First, magnanakaw. C, complaining. Ang bu... Di ba, lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo, tayo, gusto nyong maging miserable buhay nyo. Di ba? Epektibo itong tip ko. Sigurado ito. Kung gusto nyong talagang lagi kayong galit, lagi kayong nakasimangot, lagi kayong nakanguso, lagi yung salubong ang kilay ninyo, gusto nyo yung tumataas yung yung presyon nyo, yung sumasakit ulo mo, yung nani... Gusto mo yan? Gusto mo yan? Simple lang, simple lang. Tanong nyo, ano? A- anong gagawin? Simple. Magreklamo ka sa lahat. Ireklamo mo asawa mo, ireklamo mo anak mo, ireklamo mo bahay mo, ireklamo mo pagkain mo, ireklamo mo weather, ireklamo mo bayan mo, ireklamo mo katabi mo ngayon, reklamo mo yung preacher, reklamo, reklamo mo lahat. Congratulations! Miserable buhay mo. Epektibo yan, subukan nyo. Kasi sabi sa Psalm 34.8, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Kaya pa isang bagong paborito ko ngayon sa feast worship, Have you seen how good the Lord is to us? Ang dami pong pwedeng ipagpasalamat. Pero yung taong mareklamo, ang titignan niya yung wala. Ang titignan niya yung negatibo. Ang titignan niya yung kulang. Samantalang ang daming pwedeng biyaya na nangyayari. Kaya yung taong mareklamo, ha? laging mareklamo, ha? ganito itsura lagi niya. <laughs> Tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo, baka malapit-lapit. At pag nadikit na yan, laging yan ang default ng mukha mo. Pagising mo pa lang, maga na naman. Ha? Paglabas mo na naman, kayo naman kasama ko. Ayan na naman ang kakainin ko. Papasok na naman ako sa opisina. Yun na naman. Yan, yan ang mukha nyo. Pag lagi na kaganyan, eto na ang kasunod yung mukha. Ayan. Oh. Malapit-lapit na sila. Ha? Reklamo mo lahat. Ah, pag babae ka, yun, reklamo mo. Ha? Reklamo mo pamilya mo, reklamo mo kapitbahay mo, reklamo mo yung kalan mo, reklamo mo yung silya nyo, yung supat. Reklamo mo lahat. Saka ganyan-ganyan mo, eto na. Oh, magka- kamuka. E di ba naging toko na rin sa inyo? 
pabata po ng pabata ang mga nagiging reklamador. Noon, ang mga bata, they don't dare to complain. Pag naglagay ka ng pagkain sa mesa, yan ang kakainin natin. O, oh, di ba lagi yung sinasabi? Pagkangkong yan, pag uh, munggo yan, yan ang ulam natin, anak. Thank you, mami. Kakainin mo yan. Kahit na ang palaya, salamat. Ay, ngayon, pag naghahain ka niyan, mami, ulang hotdog, mami, ulang spam, walang fried chicken, tayo, ay, iluto niyo yung anak ko natin. Pabata ng pabata, di ba? Kaya nga, entitled generation. Reklamo ng reklamo. Bago natin tinuro ang sumunod, pinatulan natin yung mga reklamo nila. Sobrang pabata ng pabata, sanggol pa lang, nag reklamo na. Kaya tingnan yung mga sanggol na mareklamo, sanggol pa lang, tumatanda na itsura. Tingnan nyo. Ayan, no? Samantalang ang antidote, oh, si Tony mamaya yan, pero ano ba ang antidote ng reklamo? Pasalamat. Pasalamat po. Si Rick Warren ulit, ha? tinanong siya, Rick Warren, ano ba ang buhay? Masaya o malungkot? Ano ba ang mundo? Pangit o maganda? Ano ang sagot? Dipindi. Dipindi sa iyong pagtingin. Noon daw, ang sagot ni Rick Warren, eh, ano yan eh, weather, weather. Diba? Sa bagay, in, in, Amerikano si Rick Warren na tinatagalog ko lang. Ha? Sabi niya, parang tayo noon, diba, sabi niya, minsan nasa ibabaw, minsan nasa ilalim. Nung bata ako, mayroong, mayroong soap opera no, ng tawag namin, ni teleserye, na ang kantay, Kung minsan ang takbo ng buhay mo. Parang ako lang nakakaalam. Gulong ng pala. Ang, ayun, may umuo din. May kaedad ako dito. Ang buhay ay gulong ng palad. Ibig daw sabihin, minsan nasa ibabaw. Minsan nasa ilalim. Ganyan lang daw ang buhay. Ay, pero sabi ni Rick Warren, nung umandar ang buhay ko, mali ako dun. Hindi pala minsan nasa ibabaw, minsan nasa ilalim. Eh, ano ang buhay? Sabi niya, sabay. Sabay na may nangyayaring hindi maganda at may nangyayaring maganda. Bakit? Karanasan niya mismo. Sumikat siya, umaman siya, naging powerful siya sa book niyang Purpose Driven Life. Pati mga presidente ng Amerika kumukonsulta sa kanya. Requirin niya eh. Kasabay ng kanyang tagumpay, wow, ibabaw. Asawa niya ng kakanser. Yung anak niya, isa din yun sa mga kwentong kanina na na-depress at tinapos ang buhay. Sabay! Habang may masaya, may malungkot. May tagumpay, may kabiguan. E parang yun ang totoo, hindi ba? Ngayon lang, sino sa inyo ang may dahilan para maging masaya? Taas ang kamay. Oh. Pero sino din sa inyo ang may dinadalang problema at pagsubok? O tinan, niloloko niyo ako. Sabi niyo, masaya kayo. Tapos ngayon may problema kayo. E ganun talaga buhay. Tama? May da, pwede kang isaya at mayroon kang dinadala. Ang tanong, saan ka mas nakatutok? Mas nakatutok ka ba doon sa tagumpay o nakatutok ka doon sa pagkabigo? Sa mabuti, sa masama. Sa pangit, sa maganda. Hindi ko sinasabing ipikit mong mata mo sa problema. Harapin mo yan. Hindi ko sinasabing ipikit mong mata mo sa pangit o sa mabaho o sa madumi. Dapat makita mo yan para linisin mo at gawan mo ng paraan. Tama? Huwag ka lang bababad doon. Huwag kang bababad. Kasi pag binabaran mo talaga, ha? ay ang kaguluhan sa mundo at problema sa mundo, yan, pati ikaw, tatapusin mo na rin lahat yan, mabibigatan ka na. May isang journalist na ang lagi niyang kinukunan, yung mga kahirapan, patayan, gera, yan, yan ang kanyang forte, ang gaganda ng mga kuha niya, well, magaganda na gruesome. Ayun, di na niya nakayanan, tinapos na niya buhay niya. Doon siya nakatutok eh. Kaya ako po, ay, nako, 
Pag ako ay nagmisyon sa mga mahihirap, sa mga api, sa mga nakakulong, eh, mga preacher kami, kayo din ginagawa niyan. Pero pagkatapos kong makiiyak, makatapos kong madinig ang masa, mabibigat na kwento, pag uwi ko, manonood na ako Mr. Bean. Manonood na ako ng mga superhero. Are you getting what I'm doing? Mabalan. Makikipaglaro na ako sa aking anak o makikipaglaro sa inyo. Saan kayo nakafocus? So bakit ka nagko-complain madalas? Baka siguro ang focus mo doon sa hindi maganda. Samantala kung ang focus mo, tingin ka sa hindi maganda, tingin ka sa problema, pero ibalik mo, ang tawag doon default, para sa settings, ibalik mo sa blessing. Mas marami pa rin blessing na nangyayari. At kitang-kita mo ang isang taong ang default niya, blessing, mas madalas na kangiti. Totoo yan. Kahit ganito ang ngiti niya. Ita nyo, kahit walang ipin, pero ang ngiti, contagious eh. Di ba? Eh kaya lang, pumasok kayo sa opisina, o pumasok kayo sa inyong school, o pumasok. Tapos di ba, lahat oh, good morning, tas lahat, morning, morning ka dyan, pagkalitan tayo. Morning ka dyan, may mga... Ang bigat! Pero subukan mong pumasok ka, good morning, good morning, nakangiti lahat, ay, naku! Saya mo buhay. Oh, kahit nga may edad ka na eh, tignan mo ito, may edad na siya, wala nang ipin eh. Pero napaka-positibo. Ang ganda. At yan sana ituro natin sa ating mga anak. Ha? Kahit na may problema, kahit may pagsubok, ngiti, tingnan niyo yung ngiting baby na yan. Di ba? Nakakahawa. Nalo na yung mga ngiting ganito, kita mo halos wala nang mata. Kita niyo? Ine-experimento ko lang ngayon sa ngiti. Kayo, napapangiti. Pero doon sa mga nakasimangot, mga mukhang gorilya, ngiti din kayo, pero ayoko nung ganyan yan. Magnanakaw ang masyadong mareklamo. Ninanakaw niyan sa'yo na makita mo ang blessing. Kaya nga yung kanta, Have you seen how good the Lord is to us? Baka pangungunsyensya sa yung kasi ang nakikita mo palagi, problema, problema, problema. Di ba ba nakita, nagising ka? Di ba ba nakita, buhay ka? Di ba ba nakita, may pagkain ka? Di ba ba nakita, may pamilya ka? Di mo ba nakita, may mga kaibigan ka? Di mo ba nakita? Taste and see that the Lord is good and you will have a full life. Amen? Saan madalas galing ang complaining? Pangalawang C. Tanong nyo saan? Comparing. Kaya ka nagko-complain kasi kinukumpara mo eh. Sabi sa Galatians 6.4, Pay careful attention to your work. For then you will get satisfaction of a job well done and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. Kaya minsan tama din yung, intindihin mo yung buhay, tingnan mo yung mga kapitbahay, tingnan mo yung isa, hindi nagtatawa. Yung trabaho mo, intindihin mo. Yung buhay mo, intindihin mo. Yung bakuran mo, intindihin mo. Yung pamilya mo, intindihin mo. Kesa sa tingin ka ng tingin sa iba. Sabi din sa ibang bahagi ng Biblia, pag nag-compare ka, it's either mas yayabang ka o mangliliit ka. Bakit? Palagi ka makakita ng mas mataas ka, makakakita ka din ng mas mababa ka. Kaya pa nakita ka ng mas mataas ka, yayabang ka. Ay, walang kwenta to, buti pa ako. Pag kinumpare mo naman dun sa mga mas mataas sa'yo, feeling mo, kawawa naman ako, kawawa naman ako, sila, na-promote sila, may kotse sila. O di ba ano yung paulit-ulit ko sinasabi? Lagi akong napapaalala sa mga bata eh. Ah, sana, again, hindi naman ito masama. Pero yung sana all, di ba sabi ko sa inyo? Kasi di ba may, may nag-post. Ang saya nila nasa Boracay. Anong comment? Sana all. Kumain ng masarap? Sana all. Ah, na-promote siya? Sana all. Ano nangyari sa Congratulations. Ano nangyari sa I'm happy for you? At ano ibig sabihin ng sana all? Parang nakakatuwa lang, parang katunog China oil, parang ganun. Huh? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Bakit siya meron, ako wala? Sana ako din. Ba't kayo nagburakay, dapat ako din. Ba't kayo bumiyahe, dapat ako din. Bakit siya na-promote, dapat? No. Kaya yung sana all na yan, comparing eh. Of course, hindi ko na sinasabi, ikumpisal mo bukas kay Father. Sabi po ni Brother Alvin, nagsana all ako, patawarin niyo. Hindi, hindi. Tinitingnan ko lang yung underlying statement niyan. Ano ibig sabihin? 
Kasi kung yung sana all mong kinukumpara mo, nagiging malungkot ka. Bakit siya may bagong damit? Sana all. Ang hirap pa niyan, meron, meron ka na eh. Kaya comparing is rooted in envy. Meron ka ng hawak, madala sa akin nangyayari yan. Kaya ako natutok ito kasi ganyan din ako na uhuli ko sa sarili ko eh. Bawa, nag-Starbucks kayo. Umorder ka ng matcha. Ang saya mo na sa matcha mo. <laughs> Tapos yung kasama mo, umorder ng choco chip. Parang mas masarap yan kaysa dito sa iniinom. Ang saya mo na dapat dito ha, pero nung kinumper mo. Madas na ngayari sa akin yan. Uy, ang sarap niyan. Uy, amapif. Masarap din ito eh. At tingnan nyo ito. Ayan, paboritong-paborito ko yung meme na yan. Lahat sila naiinggit. Sabi nung nasa kotse, katabi, ay, buti pa siya, bago yung sasakyan niya. Ako, luma. Nung sa panangawang frame, dumaan yung nagbibisikleta, buti pa siya, kahit lumang kotse meron, ako, bisikleta lang. Nung sa baba naman, sabi nung naglalakad, buti pa siya, may bike, ako, naglalakad lang. Doon naman sa naglalakad, may nakasilib sa taas, buti pa siya nakakalakad, ako pilay. Kita mo? Laging. Ang hindi alam nung pilay, ang hindi alam nung di makalakad, yung nasa baba na nagmamanayon sa sakyan, nakita din siya. Ano sabi na nasakyan? Na, nasa magarang sa Buti pa siya, paupo-upo lang doon <laughs> ako, tatrabaho. If we keep on comparing ourselves to others, we will always feel inferior. We, na nakawin. Yung galak na natin, may kotse tayo, may bike tayo, nakakapaglakad tayo, nakakapahinga tayo, magnanakaw. Pero sinabi ko, wag ka na, sinabi ko bang wag na mag-complain? Hindi naman. Ah, baka naman kumakain ka ng lugaw, may langaw, salamat sa Diyos. May extra pa. Huwag magreklamo. Hindi naman. Okay, sasabihin ko na sa inyo yung diretsyo. Sino sa atin ang hindi nagreklamo sa init? Talagang mainit ngayon eh. At warning ha, iinit pa daw. Di ba last week yung mga memes ko sa init? Ha? Kaya hindi po biro yan. Hydrate yourself. Ha? Kaya lang, eto lang po eh. Complain and compare. Eto lang ang take ko dyan eh. Init, di ba? Buti ngayon, salamat. Pero paglabas niyo pa lang? Paglabas niyo pa lang, di ba? Init. Oh, init. Init talaga. Hi, init. Ito lang tanong ko, ha? Pag nag-reklamo ka ba, lumalamig? Sana pag nag-reklamo ka, init, init, biglang nag snow hindi ba? Oh, sabi na nga ba, ha? May nagagawa ba reklamo? Katunayan nun, sa kakareklamo mo, lalong madodoble yung init kasi iinit ulo mo, iinit ka to. Are you getting me? Hindi ko sinabi pasalamatan mo yung init, pero complaining and comparing doesn't help. They don't help. O ito, ito sample natin. Wala kang pera? Subukan mo magkiklamo kung wala kang, wala kang pera. Wala kang pera, wala kang pera. Saan na ito yung nagreklamo ka? Napupuno bigla bulsa mo. Di ba? Yung bank account mo napuno, kakareklamo. Walang nangyayari. Naipit ka sa traffic, 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 ah, traffic, traffic. Umaandar ka ba bigla dahil nagreklamo ka? Walang nagagawa ang reklamo. Lalo na ako ikukumpara mo. Lalo lang bibig, oh, init, init, init. Ah, buti pa sa Antarctica, mga ganun. Buti pa sa Europe, buti pa. Ako ito. Kung hindi mo maiwasan mag-compare, gusto mo talaga mag-compare, ito. Init sa atin, no? Oh. Init. Tina mo ang kalagayan ng mga nasa Israel, nasa Palestine. Ibang klaseng init yan. Iinit talaga ng mga ulong tao dyan. Pati Iran, bumanat na. At ang init nila ay mga missiles na nagpuputukan sa taas. Sa taas yan. Ay init. Pero sa baba, ito nagigipekto niyan. Alam niyo bang 30,000 ang namamatay dahil sa gera na itong Palestine, Israel na nakialam ng Iran, nakialam. Alam niyo bang every day, 250 ang namamatay. At 13,000 dyan, or one every 15 minutes, ay bata. Mga bata po namamatay. Kaya kung gusto niyo mag-compare, yan ang paanyaya ko't hamon. I-compare niyo kalagayan yung init 
dyan sa mga batang yan o sa mga nasa gera. Pag nakita niya, sige, init na lang. Kesa sa ganyang di mo alam. Kung kumakain kayo, biglang sasabog. Kung naglalakad yung anak mo, biglang. Kung yung tatay at nanay mo, uuwi pa bang buo. Kung magko-compare ka din lang, i-compare mo yung mga mas malalala pa, mahihirap pang pinagdadaanan, and then be grateful. Salamat, Panginoon. Ang problema namin, init lang. Kita mo yun? Hindi na matiis talaga. Okay na. Tayo, mayroon pang paraan sa init. Salamat sa Diyos. Hindi ko minamaliit yan, problema yan, pero may paraan. Pero yung mga tao, sa gitna ng mga gera, hirap. And last, si, ito, isa pang magnanakaw. Controlling. Makontrol kasi tayo eh. Gusto natin yung mga bagay nangyayari ayon sa ating kagustuhan. At pag hindi nangyari ayon sa ating kagustuhan, ninanakaw yung ating galak at saya. Ang sample ko lang na mabilis dyan, yung pamamaraan sa pagpapalaki ng ating mga anak. Separate talk yan eh, pero pasadahan ko lang. Kailangan naman talaga nating mag-control eh, or i-control. Halimbawa, yung mga anak natin, dapat talaga nating i-control at a certain age. Hindi pa pwedeng uh, mga magulang ngayon, anak, bahala ka. Masyado natin binibigyan ng kalayaan ng mga bata eh. Bahala ka kung manonood ka ng Netflix. Bahala ka kung di ka papasok, kung ayaw mo. Bahala ka kung anong oras ka magigising. Kailangan may controlin tayo. Kailangan sabihan natin kung ano dapat nilang gawin. Kailan? Pag bata pa sila at nasa poder natin. Hindi pa pwedeng, Mami, anong gagawin ko? Anak, bahala ka sa buhay mo. Mami, grade one pa lang ako. Hindi ko alam gagawin sa buhay ko. Kontrolin mo yun. Ah, kontrolin mo na magsipilyo siya. Kontrolin mo matulog siyang maaga. Are you getting me? Kontrolin mo kumain siya ng tama. Yan. Pero at a certain age, ang susunod dyan, hindi na control. Coaching na lang. Sabihin nyo, coach. O, pag yan ay nagtitinager na. Lalo na pag lumagpas siya ng 18 years old. Ayaw na niya ng anak. Nagsipilyo ka na. Anak, kumain ka na. Coach na lang. Kung baka sa basketball, hindi ka na naglalaro. Siya na naglalaro, sigaw ka na lang, Anak, kaya mo yan! Anak! Ayun, coach. Lalong-lalo na kung sila ay mga nagsipag-asawa na at lumaki na. Beer mo, 45 anos na siya. Kumakatok pa yung nanay, Anak, nagsipilyo ka na ba? Anak, yung suot mo, yung pula, mas bagay sa yan. May asawa na at may kaya tayo na poor frustrate eh. Akala natin, kontrolado pa rin natin yung 3 years old, 4 years old. Hindi na ako mahal ng anak ko. Hindi na ako sinusunod. Ilang taon na ba siya? 48. Hindi ka na talaga natambi. May sarili ng buhay yun eh. Consultant ka na lang. Pag tinanong ka na lang. Are you getting me? Bakit? Nanakawin niya ng galak mo kapag akala mo kontrolado mo lahat. We love to control eh. We want to control our spouse. We want to control our employees. Uh, co-employees, we want to control our uh, 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 society, we want to control the world. Eh. Kaya kita mo, ang, ang, ang binubunsod niyan, gera, binubunsod niyan, we want to control. Kaya ang lagi kong panalangin ito, God, grant me serenity to accept things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Kailangan may controlin tayo. At ang makokontrol natin, sarili natin. Pero yung mga bagay sa labas na hindi natin makokontrol, yung init, yung bagyo, yung nangyayari, hindi natin makontrol, we surrender. And then we have the wisdom to know the difference. Buhay na lubos, ganap, at masagana. Paano nga ba? Brother Tony Valenzuela. Palakpakan natin, Brother Alvin, at isa pang mas malakas para kay Lord. Gabi. Fulfillment. Pakiulit, fulfillment. 
Sino dito who wants to have a fulfilled life? Itas ang kamay. Iwagayway. Okay, paki-high-five ang katabi. Paki-sabi, let's be fulfilled. At para maging fulfilled, ang isi-share ko ay five Ps. Ilan? Five Ps. No? Very quick lang po ito, but I'm sure these five Ps will impact you in a way na, yes, you can live a fulfilling life. Kahit hindi perfect ang buhay, you can be fulfilled. Amen? And syempre, yung pagiging fulfilled po natin, I will share these five Ps based ayon sa buhay ni Joseph. Itong uh, si Joseph or si Jose, o kung sa wikang Arabic, Yusuf, Yosef sa Hebrew, ay siya yung uh, favorite no, ng kanyang uh, tatay, si Jacob. No? Alam nyo, kilala nyo si Joseph, si pareng Jose. No? Uh, he was the most favorite of the 12 brothers. Siya ang natanggap ng technicolored coat na gawa ng uh, dad niya, ng tatay niya. And because he was favored, naingit ng mga kapatid niya. Sa kanya. Pero grabe no, I'm sure you're familiar with his story. And ang grabe din yung pinagdadaanan niya, but at the end, it was all for the best. Amen? Pakitingin ka tabi, mukhang may pinagdadaanan ba yung katabi mo ngayon? If so, tell that person beside you, may purpose ang Diyos. May purpose ang Diyos sa pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. Trust me, I know it. So our first P is this, passion. Pakiulit, passion. You may ngiti. Sige, tingin yung katabi, Passion. Ayun, practice nyo ha, tuwing umaga, pagtingin nyo sa, sa sarili nyo sa, sa salamin, passion. Kailangan may, ano yan, oh, passion. And passion is defined as this, is a drive that compels us to pursue something with enthusiasm. Pakiulit, enthusiasm. Ayun, enthusiasm, talagang may, may, may passion and dedication, even when faced with obstacles, suffering, and endurance. So uli, kapatid, may pinagdadaanan ka ngayon. Hindi lang dahil mainit no, ang mundo dito sa Pilipinas. Pero lahat tayo, if we're going through a suffering, we can be passionate. Amen? Promise po yan. Why? Because the word passion, pag tinignan natin yung actual translation of the word passion, and it comes from the Greek word pasko. Pakiulit, pasko. Yung may kh, ganon. Okay, pakitingin uli yung katabi. Pasko. Yeah, no? <laughs> Pasko, no? Hindi Pasko. Pero it uh, sounds like it. It means to suffer and to endure. That's why passion of the Christ, di ba? Kung passionate ka, kapatid, regardless kung may struggle, kung may obstacle, kung may nakahadlang sa, sa, sa dedication mo, you go and do what you're passionate about. Amen? That's why alam ko, lahat tayo, even if we were suffering during the pandemic, I'm sure you were passionate about something. Tama po ba? You are passionate to live, to be alive, to be healthy. That's why I pray, may natutunan tayo talaga from the pandemic. Ako, as, an, uh, as a freelance events host and artist, alam niyo, ang hirap. Hirap, hirap na hirap ako nung pandemic kasi walang events, walang face-to-face. Kung may events, madalang at kung may events, online. First time ko may experience na nasa isang uh, studio kami nakabubble, kailangan magpa-swab test, dun kami, three hours before the event. And then sa loob ng studio, may green screen na kami sa likod at lahat ng camera nakatutok sa akin. At may binabasa ako sa harap, wow, parang Oscars. Pero pag tinignan online, may, may naka-stage, may naka-display sa likod ko. At yung kausap ko online, na, nasa computer. Pero pag tingin ko dito, green screen, ang hirap. But I had to be, I was really passionate about it. Even if it was difficult, walang masyadong mga commercials. Ang hirap, puro mga animation, puro mga gawa ng, ng uh, computer, yung mga commercials noon. And so praise God, after the pandemic, sabi ko, Lord, I pray, babalik na yung mga events, babalik na yung mga uh, projects. And true enough, unti-unti bumabalik. So one of my last commercials was smart dishwashing paste. Napanon niyo po ba ito? Iba talaga pag smart dishwashing paste. So alam niyo na, yung mga expert scientists, <laughs> mga talents din pala, no? Pero I'm just glad, no? I'm just, I'm just so grateful that I get to do this. Kasi yung mga feast builders, hindi lang kami first uh, full-time servants dito. Kailangan bivocational. And I'm passionate about it. I'm a passionate actor. Yung talagang first service ko dito sa feast as an actor ni Brother Bo. And sometimes nung una, actor din ako with Christian kay Brother Alvin. So I, pl- I always hope to apply this dito sa aking preaching. And even more so, recently, and I hope na napanood nyo na kasi lumabas na sa Netflix noong April 9. Gumburza, napanood nyo na po? 
Napanoorin nyo na. Pag hindi nyo nakita ko saan ka doon, yan, may mga eksayangan. Katabi ko si Ketchup Eusebio. At may nakita kong post yan. Parang sabi ko, wow, pwede. Ito, yung sunod na slide. Parang itong eksena sa dulo. Ah, pwede no. Ang, ang suplado ko doon, eh, no? Eh, ganun talaga. Kailangan ng warte, no? Opo, eh, no? Kailangan talagang... But that's, that's what I'm passionate about. That's what I love doing. And lahat tayo, we have a talent that God has given us. Amen? Pakitingin katabi, mukhang may talent talaga yung katabi mo ngayon. May talent yan! So what are you passionate about? That's what Joseph did, no? Kahit dami niyang pinagdaanan, he was still passionate about life. Grabe talaga, no? He was almost killed. He was thrown into a pit. He was sold to be a slave to gypsies and then to Egypt, no? And yet he was passionate to serve God, to love God. Passion. Pakiulit. Passion. Second, Personal growth. Pakiulit, personal growth. Alam nyo, God is always working in your life for your personal growth. Yes, it may not seem like it, pero sa buhay ni Joseph, ganun na nga nangyari. Kung nasalagay kayo ni Joseph, would you think talagang God is working for your personal growth? Siguro kung nandun ka, binububuk ka, almost left for dead ka because of your, of your brother. Siguro, Lord, ano ba to? Mga, mga kapatid ko na to? And yet, they're killing me. They want to sell me. I'm a slave. And even when he was in prison, he was still looking for his personal growth. And your personal growth cannot be possible if not for God. Amen? Kasi ang Diyos ang gumawa sa inyo eh. God made us. And He knows you more than you know yourself. Pakiulit sa katabi, God knows you more. God knows you more than you know yourself. What does personal growth mean? Personal growth is this. Even in the waiting and suffering. Pakiulit, Waiting. Suffering. God is doing something behind the scenes. He is building your character. He is strengthening your heart in the process. Wala kayong makamay dyan. Di ba? If you're going through a dark valley right now, kapatid, God will use that. He is using that to build your character, to strengthen your heart, to make mas, mas, mas maging solid, Ang, ang, ang resolve mo sa buhay. And I know it's difficult sometimes. Talagang we're tempted to fall into despair. No? Mas lalo pag nalugi ang business, may na walang minamahal sa buhay. No? You lost someone. You've experienced a heartache. And those are difficult. And God knows it. And He's with you in your suffering. Mamaya manalaman na ito. But here's the thing. God will not give you something that you are not ready to receive. Uulitin ka po. Uulitin ka po. <laughs> God will not give you something that you are not ready to receive. Yung mga dark valleys natin, yung mga broken heartedness natin, yung mga rock bottoms natin, God will use that to ready you for what He has destined for you. Amen? That's why kailangan you have to believe, kapit lang kapatid. Kapit lang. Because in those dark moments, in those struggles, like I've also experienced, one thing I learned, ask me what? what? Humility. Humility. It's by being humble that God is preparing you. He is curbing you to receive the blessing that you have wanted to receive for the longest time. Sabi ni Brother Bo, humility is the key to any kind of growth. Ito ang sasabihin ko. Itong sasabihin ko, there can be no personal growth without humility. Amen? That is why when I desire to be a world-class actor someday, nung napanood ko yung Oscars, we said, galing itong mga ito. Sabi ko, sana Lord, sana someday I'll be there receiving something like that. No? Kahit hindi sa Oscars. But sabi ko, Lord, habang wala pa yan, when I'm struggling right now, even as an artist, I will still serve you in the midst of my valley. I will serve you and love you in the midst of the storm because alam ko, Lord, that you're going to do something great for me in your perfect time. Amen? So kapatid, kapit lang. God gave you a heart full of dreams. Amen? Don't give up on those dreams. Maybe some dreams, wala na. But it doesn't mean new dreams cannot come again. Amen? Because God is always eternal. And because of the dreams... We have our third P. It's positive relationship. Pakiulit, positive relationship. At yun din na-enforce ni Joseph. 
when he was sold to be a slave in Egypt, naging katulong siya ni, ni Potiphar. If you know the story, Potiphar, of course, is an Egyptian uh, official. And what happened is, na fake news din siya. Kasi yung asawa ni Potiphar, ay, na, na last yung asawa ni Potiphar kay Joseph. Na in love siguro, no? Nakita niya, ang guwapong guwapo si Joseph. At what happened, she seduced, tried to seduce him. But sabi ni Joseph, no, I am faithful to the master Potiphar. I will not do what you want me to do. At ang ginawa ng asawa ni Potiphar, na, na fake news, na, 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 na harass siya ni Joseph, which is not true. Siyempre, Potiphar, naniwala sa asawa, kinulong siya. And even in prison, naging dalawang kaibigan niya, yung dating hand, right hand and, and, and wine, wine drinker ng Pharaoh, nakulong din sila eh. And when the relationships were built, Nagkaroon sila ng mga dreams. And si Joseph may gift of interpreting dreams. Na-interpret ni Joseph yung dreams ng dalawang servants ng fair na ito. And even when he told the truth, at nakalaya na yung dalawa, yung isa na-execute, eh. yung isa bumalik sa pagiging ano, cup-bearer pala, cup-bearer and wine drinker ng Pharaoh. Pero nakalimutan yung nakalaya, yung ginawa ni Joseph para sa kanya. Later on, cut the story short, syempre, Because Joseph was faithful to the Pharaoh, siya naging governor of all of Egypt. Yun na. Diba? Sa lahat ng pinagdaanan niya, it was in the relationships that the Lord was pulling Joseph out of his struggles. So friend, kung may pinagdadaanan ka, don't let go of your relationships. Huwag ka mag-isa. Alright? Don't deal, deal with it alone. Kasi hindi talaga ka nag May kasama ka, kapatid. You have the feast. You have the family. You have your light group, which I hope you're part of a light group. Amen? Sa kanila ka mag-open up. That's the first, first step toward healing. And here's the truth. Ask me what? Everything in life is about relationships. Pakiulit. Everything in life is about relationships. In work, kahit nagtatrabaho ka sa corporate, kung saan ka man, in community, Paglabas, it's about relationships. In fact, your success in life is based on the relationships that you build. Tama or tama? Di ba? Pag affected ang relationship mo, pag toxic ang relationship mo, affected ka. Nadidespair ka na. Nawawala ka na ng pag-asa. O kaya ikaw din gusto mo pala ng toxic relationship. Ay, yung pala. Di ba? So, napakahalaga pala ang mga positive relationships. So, reinforce in your life your positive relationships. Amen? I'm telling you, your, your value of success in the future is based on the relationships that you build around you. Do you believe in that? Pakisabi sa katabi, let's be successful together. Yeah. All right. Next P. Purpose. Pakiulit? Purpose. Yes. At nung naging, ano na, naging successful na si Joseph, siya ay naging governor of Egypt. Nakita niya na ito pala ang purpose, kaya pala. Kaya pala pinagdaanan ko lahat ng pinagdaanan ko from, my, from the persecution of my own family, ng aking sariling mga kapatid, my own love, my own flesh and blood persecuted me. My friends in prison did not remember me. My, yung unang boss ko, si Potiphar, did not trust and believe in me. And yet, God still had a plan despite the suffering, despite the pain, despite the struggles in my life. Ito pala ang purpose ng Diyos sa lahat ng pinagdanaan ko. Kaya pala. Amen? Palapang natin ng Diyos. Diba? He has a purpose. And this is what purpose is. Purpose gives you a fulfilled life. By providing direction, meaning, and a sense of significance. Ang purpose mo, maybe you don't feel it right now. Baka ang purpose mo, di mo nakita right now. Maybe yung purpose mo, hindi mo naramdaman ngayon right now. But you believe that you have a purpose. Amen? Ulit, pakisabi sa katabi, may purpose ka. You have a purpose in life. God created you with a purpose. I don't believe that ginawa ta lang tayo ng Diyos na wala-wala lang. Di ba? There's not a mistake in God's plan. There's not a mistake in God's creation. Amen? And if you believe that God has makes no mistake, even if we're imperfect, God still created us with a purpose. But what is your purpose? Ask me what. Ito ha, sasabihin ko. Your purpose is to serve. Is to serve. 
Yes. We tell, I'm telling you here, how you serve, what, what you do to serve is your expression of love to God. That's your purpose. Mas lalo sa atin who, who choose to follow God, who believe in God, who want to follow Jesus and serve Jesus. Our, our purpose talaga is to serve. At yan ginawa ni Jesus. Sa Last Supper pa lang, di ba? Nang Last Holy Week retreat natin, nakita natin, Last Holy Week na si Jesus. Sa Last Supper, anong ginawa niya? Mamamatay na siya. He knows he was going to die. And yet, what did he do? Hindi siya nagsabi. Of course, nag, nag, nag-pray siya sa Garden of Gethsemane. Nag, nag-open up siya kay Lord sa kanyang ama. But before he did that, Ang ginawa niya, nag-serve siya sa mga apostoles. He washed their feet. O di ba, hindi ba yan service? That's why here at the feast, we invite you to serve. Maybe God is inviting you to serve here us at the feast. Join us in the kitchen. But maybe God is asking you to serve sa, kanya, sa kanilang mga families, in your own families, in your own workplace, kung saan man kayo, where you're loving, where you're serving. God is calling you to be missionaries there. Sabi ni Jesus, sabi ni Jesus sa Matthew 20, 28, this is why we serve. Because just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to, but to, oh, di ba si Jesus siya mismo nagsabi, I didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. Uli, pakitingin yung katabi mo, kung servant ba yung katabi mo ngayon? Yes, I hope and pray we all have a servant's heart. Amen? And this is the fifth and the last letter P. Presence. Pakiulit? Presence. Ano ba yung presence? Uli, pakitapik yung katabi. Nandito ba yung katabi mo ngayon? Tao ba yung katabi mo ngayon? Ha? Ta- tao dapat, ha? Okay. Your presence is a gift. Amen? Your presence, it is the gift of yourself in the present moment. Your time, your talent, your treasure. Pwede nasa ibang lugar kayo. Baka nanonood ngayon, kayo ngayon ng gumbursa, di ba? Pwede, sa sine yan, di ba? Kakalabas lang yata yung Ghostbusters, di ba? You could be somewhere else right now, pero nandito kayo to dedicate your time, talent, and treasure para sa kanya. Amen? And your undivided awareness in the now, even in the midst of distractions and oppositions. Alam ko yung iba, ay, sana ko kaya pagkatapos dito. Ayan, sino nung kikitain ko? Ay, sige, itong kakainin ko mamayang gabi. Ah, ito, punta kami dito. Punta. Di ba, ang bilis, pwede madistract tayo. In our world today, napakaikli ang mga attention span natin dahil sa social media. Swipe, swipe lang. Di ba? But God is asking us, be present. Be present to me. Be present to the person beside you. Di ba? And that's what Joseph did. Yan ang ginawa ni Joseph. Mas lalo nung dumating yung mga kapatid niya, na di pa siya kilala at first. Pero later on, na-reveal ni Joseph na siya yung missing brother that they persecuted long ago. And alam natin yung story. Nagsisi na yung mga kapatid niya and they realize, iba talaga when you're in the presence of your loved ones. Amen? That's why, if you love someone today, be present to them. No, Avoid being distracted. Don't worry about oppositions kasi this life is short. Amen? Hindi natin alam hanggang kailan tayo nandito sa mundo. So be present to one another. Amen? Paki high five yung katabi and tell that person beside you, let's be present. To wrap up and to close our message today, Brother Alvin Barcelona. Thank you so much, Brother Tony. Thank you. I, I love the story of Joseph. Thank you, Brother Tony. Sikita niyo, di ba si Joseph? Sumulang maganda. Pero kinainggitan ng mga kapatid. Papatayin siya ng mga kapatid niya. Pero nakonsyensya, binenta na lang. Naging alipin. Pero naging alipin siya, ang galing niyang alipin. Naging mayordomo siya. Di ba? Taas waba, taas waba eh. Pero nagkagusto naman sa kanyang asawa nung boss niya. Pinakulong siya, di ba? Nung nakulong siya, ang galing na naman niya, naging mayor siya. Ha? Hanggang sa may natulungan siya, nakalimutan naman siya. Nasabihin sa hari. Nag, nakulong pa siya ng ilang taon. Pero dahil na balitaan na ang galing niya, nakaka-interpret siya ng dreams, pinatawag siya ng hari at naging kanang kamay siya ng hari. No? At imbis na gantihan niya yung mga kapatid niya, nung siya ay nasa posisyon na, pinatawag pa niya, pati yung tatay niya, at nagsama-sama sila. Ang galing. Anong sinasabi sa kwento ni Joseph? Tanong niyo ano? Ang buhay talaga, tulad sabi ni Rick Warren, may masama, may mabuti. Pero sa buhay ni Joseph, masama man o mabuting nangyayari, ang presensya ng Diyos palagi nandoon. 
Ay, hindi siya magpabagsak-bagsak eh. Yan yung sinasabi, you cannot put a good man down. Kaya kitignan nyo ito ha. Pinag-usapan natin, buhay na fulfilled. Read this. A life of fulfillment is not because everything is working well with you. No. A life of fulfillment is because in everything, God is with you. Ang buhay na masaya ay hindi dahil masaya lahat. <laughs> ang buhay na masaya ay kahit na may problema ka, nakikita mo ang Diyos. Kakantahan ko kayo bago tayo mag-worship. Paborito ko itong kantang ito kasi ang dami nagaganap ngayon. Hindi pa tapos yung Ukraine, Russia, Israel, Iran, Palestine, init, ang dami. Kaya ang hamon sa atin paanyaya, makita pa rin natin na anuman ang mangyari, we have a wonderful God. That's why we still have a wonderful world despite what's happening. Tignan natin kung mapagsasabay natin. Ha? I see trees the green Red roses too I see them blue for me and you and I think to myself what a wonderful world mm. I see skies of blue clouds of white the bright blessed day in the dark sacred night And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow are so pretty in the sky. And so with the faces of people going by, I see friends shaking hands. Saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies crying, and I watch them grow. They learn much more than we'll ever know. And I think to myself, What a wonderful world And I think to myself What a wonderful world Tumayo po tayong lahat Sa kabila ng mga nagaganap Sino ang nakikita natin? Mayroon pa rin bang fulfillment sa ating mga buhay sa kabila ng mga pagsubok at problemang hinaharap? Our worship team can prepare now. And I want to give you this last message. Alam nyo kami yung ni Aya, yung aking anak, pag ako yung pagod, nanonood kami ng Netflix sa gabi. Para mabat, ma, ma, mabalanse yung aking isip. Ayoko na mag-isip masyado. Gusto ko yung mag-enjoy na lang. Sige, Dad, sabi niya, mag-enjoy tayo. Sabi ng mga anak ko si Ayo, Dad, manood tayo ng documentary, Trip to Infinity. Sabi, imbis na ako mag-enjoy, nag-nosebleed ako dito. Talagang pinag-usapan yung infinity. Pero ito yung mga mensahe nung, nung palabas. Life is indeed short. <laughs> And life is just a speck of dust. Pinakita kasi ganong kawalang hanggan ng universe eh. At nasaan ka sa, sa universe? Napakaliit mo lang. At gano ba ka haba o kaiksi ng buhay compared sa infinity? Isang iglap lang tayo. Kaya sabi ng mga eksperto sa infinity, sabi nila, <laughs> kung isipin mo parang walang kahulugan ng buhay, ang buhay ka ngayon, bukas, wala na. At napakaliit natin. Bago tayo pinanganak, umaandar ang universe. 
Pag tayo namatay, under pa yun ang universe. <laughs> Parang wala tayong significance. Sabi yun ng mga eksperto ha. Pero hindi ko makalimutan, sabi ng isang eksperto sa infinity, mga mathematician sila, mga physicist. If you look about it, our life is so small, so short, so insignificant until you learn how to love. Scientist yun ang sasalita, ha? Napaka-objective niya. Pero sabi niya, because after I realized that life is short, that life is so small, but when I fell in love, sabi niya, it began to have meaning. At kahit pa napaka-iksi o napaka-liit nitong buhay natin, pag ikaw nagmahal, nagkakaroon ng kahulugan at ng layunin. Ano kahulugan ng buhay? Kaya haba-haba man ang paliwanag sa pag-ibig pa rin. We are loved and we love. That is the meaning of life. Jesus who died on the cross did not die for nothing. He died because of love. And He rose again because of love. Kaya tayong lahat, our cross, yung mga hinaharam natin pagsubok, is our bridge to our resurrection. Sabi ni Jesus nung siya namatay, It is finished! Alam niyo ba isang pwedeng sabihin nun? It is fulfilled. Hindi natapos lang o nakahaos lang kung hindi mission accomplished. Fulfilled. Kaya saan magkakaroon ng fulfillment ang ating buhay? Sa Diyos. God and His love will make our life full and filled. Come, let's worship our God and live a full life. Let us raise our hands if this is a comfortable position for you. To view God's presence. When the darkness tries to hide my
Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pagpapaalala mo sa amin na gano'n man kaiksi o gano'n man kaliit ng aming buhay ikumpara sa napakaraming nagaganap. Ang buhay namin ay may kahulugan. Ang buhay namin ay may layunin dahil kami ay minahal mo at kami ay nagmamahal. We'll live a purposeful life because of your love and because we can love. In our family life, in our health life, in our businesses, in our jobs, in our life of serving others, in our personal dreams, may kahulugan at may kabuluhan dahil kami ay nagmamahal. Thank you, dear Lord, for your purpose for our lives. May we indeed live our lives according to your plan. By your love, this we claim. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. We say, Don't stop, don't stop. Give a shout of praise and a clap for God today. Say it with me. I can do all things through Christ. God is good, amen? God is good. Were you blessed by His message today? Tell the person beside you, let's live a fulfilled life. Let's live a fulfilled life. And a fulfilled life is not complete without God. Amen? Palapakan natin ng Diyos. God is good. And He is here. He is with you. And He is always with you. Even sa paglabas po natin and onward. Amen? Uli, mga first-timers in the house. Pakitaas ang kamay, first-timers! First-timers, huwag kayo mawala. We invite you to join here dito sa harap and we want to officially welcome you to the feast, to our feast family. And we're glad you're here and we have a welcoming gift din para sa inyo. Amen? And of course, for all those regular participants and attendees, maybe God is calling you to serve with us. Uli, we have available ang sign-up table and QR code din. Join and serve with us in the kitchen dito sa ating feast family. We are a growing feast family here at PICC PM Taglish Session. And uli, mga couples, nasa yung mga couples, make a shout mga couples! 
Couples in the house, if you have not yet attended our Lux Retreat, it is open for registration available and next week in Napoito. And we're excited to see you there and be blessed. Today, last day for registration. Pero we hope that you can catch up if you are available. Ole, let's be a blessing. Amen? Tell the person beside you, let's be a blessing. So Ole, next Sunday, dito ulit tayo, 1.30 p.m. session. Kung saan... Pero oh, magandang mangyayari sa iyo! Be safe! God bless you! And see you next Sunday! Come on! Here we go! Mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo Sa piting ng dakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos God bless you. See you next week. Hopefully join us online. Were you blessed by God's word? Diba talaga? When we live a fulfilled life, totoo po yan. And that's why I'm also inviting you. Hopefully, makikita tayo dito face-to-face sa ating live PM Taglish session every Sunday, 1.30 p.m. dito sa PICC Plenary Hall. And let's experience God's love and His presence together. Uli, siguradong merong magandang mangyayari sa inyo. God bless you and be safe! See you next Sunday! Thank you for joining us here at the Feast Bay Area. As we exit the venue, please ensure the litter is cleaned up and let's exit in an orderly fashion. Have a blessed day, everyone! Maraming salamat sa pagdalo sa Feast Bay Area. Panatilihin po nating malinis ang ating paligid at makayos nating lisanin ang bulwagan. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat.